Um, hopefully, I don't know why I can't see a mini echo. One way to, that's one way to find out. <laughs> There's a mini echo, bad, but it's there. Okay. Hmm, let me no, see. We're experimenting. We'll get it figured out. Yeah, you folks just let me know. I, I don't know why it's not showing me a preview of my own stream, but. Hey, Zimvat. All right. And we're just kind of getting started here. Um, some of the team is on the Twitter space, um, and some of the team is here in. Uh, well, me, I'm on. I'm on the Twitch. Um, you can meet the other two staff members um, that are on Inkblot. Uh, they're on the Twitter space. Yeah, so. I got the Twitch chat pulled up too. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, so we're just going to give it a, a minute or two um, before we get started, maybe do some introductions um, for the staff here, um, and we'll get, we'll get started. And uh, just, I'm going to also put... Holy shit, people started coming in. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, so uh, also, um, Harper, could you add the uh, link to the Anon box so i might have to send you a link to the anon box um, yeah, yeah, yeah. i think i saw you you posted it earlier on like so. i did yeah if you could just add that to the tweet um then that will help people be able to find our anonymous uh questions box or topic um if you have any questions or uh topics that you want us to discuss again it's it's me here with two other uh, staff members who are our, our staff members um in uh, verse just having our volunteer team uh, so, yes, if uh, anyone wants to ask a question or a topic request, uh, go ahead, pop that in the anonymous box. Um, basically, you can see all the other public responses that are in there um, that will help out with uh, basically, you know, not duplicating the responses. So I've usually done with the uh, done it with the Google Forms, but again, the duplicates, it saves us time. Um, it is anonymous, so you know um, it, that's it, no data collection, no login needed. But you, please be respectful. Please be polite. <laughs> um, there's there's no need to to uh, to not to not be cordial here. Um, so yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna give it a couple of minutes here. Let people trickle on in, um, and uh, we'll get started. Uh, and also just let some of these um, extra. Extra comments roll in as well, so. All right. Yeah. Well, thank you for keeping your eye on the Anon box, because I, are they allowed, are people allowed to type questions in Twitter spaces? God, I feel so old asking this. <laughs> it's okay. Um, yeah, they are. So that what's gonna happen is the replies to that tweet with the Twitter space is going to be basically our chat. So you see that little purple, um, area right yeah. there yeah that'll be where you see some of the uh, questions or some comments there um and and everything else like that so if you just want to keep an eye on that um while i keep an eye on the anon box um okay. i think we can tag team it and uh okay doom roach who is a cartoon cockroach with the uh patrick glamorous nails and lips says Jay, we love you, with lots of air, uh, hands pointing at you. <laughs> Doom Roach is amazing, just so you know. Very, very, has been around for quite a while, uh, a f very familiar face. <laughs> um, so, uh, good, good, thank you so much for the comment. <laughs> um, let me see. Off says, I think you guys are doing great. Thank you, Off. Yeah, and we'll, we'll get, we'll get some, uh, I'll get some uh, questions in here, or get some introductions in here, because I know that not everybody has met um, everyone here on the team. I mean, there's three staff members, so I mean that's not saying a lot. But you know, if uh, this is the first time that we've had the team, um, you know, in one of the streams and Q and As as well, other than just me, so it would be nice to do some introductions, and then we'll go from there. Um, let me see. Okay. Yeah, we don't have to hide in the shadows anymore. We're a little shy, you know. Yeah. I'm extremely shy, actually. 
<laughs> That's okay. Yeah. Uh, let me get that. Let me get that anon box on there. Um, anon box. Hmm. Is my anon box working? Okay, cool. All right. So there is a couple of questions in here, and for full transparency, this time they are all um, public, um, but they are anonymous. So. Um, the team, nor does anybody else know who sent that. So again, uh, here for the Twitch strat, um, please check out that link right there. That's our question box for this uh, Q&A. So um, just check that out. Uh, if you want a topic to be discussed, then please, please, please uh, just throw it in that box. Uh, we are gonna get started here in about two minutes because I wanna make sure that everyone has a chance to filter in. I know we started a little late, so. Can I just say, it is so abysmal, the amount, like every single ad I get on Twitter is like cryptocurrency over and over and over again. <laughs> I'm like, where am I? Like, am I on Atlassian? Like, why? <laughs> <laughs> like why? <laughs> it I I honestly don't know. Uh, they are yeah. Uh, so I, Twitch chat. I do not know if you can hear the team here on on uh, Twitter. Um, I'm trying not to make it too loud, but let me know if you can hear them or not. Um, but uh, our support team member here, named Harper, um, is basically. Oh, you can hear them. Okay, great, cool was just mentioning about the Twitter. Uh, yeah, the, the Twitter ads, they're getting kind of crazy. <laughs> uh, let's see, so sorry, I'm trying to like focus on five things at one time. So I need to focus on putting this in the Discord first. So we are a Twitter space, you're doing a Twitter space in line for a Twitch stream. TDTV. We're getting there. We are, it's a process. Um, I mean, it feels good seeing people come in just being interested and stuff. I mean, especially with just how, I mean, the site's been growing so much, but like the past couple of weeks or days even, you know, definitely a lot more. So I'm excited. It's like within hours, like I thought maybe Sunday we would hit 10K, but we hit it today and I think we're going to hit 1.1K by the end of the night. Oh, for sure. Definitely. That's exciting. Yeah, at the rate that we've been doing, we've been hitting our sign-up quota, 300 new users every hour. Um, that's kind of crazy. So uh, I think we're, we'll, we'll definitely get that, um, which is, is it's scary, <laughs> um, you know, because we're trying to grow the team as, as, and it can't grow as fast because interviews need to be done. Um, and for those of you that are interested in applying for the moderation or the support team, because I did just announce the support team, um, applications today. Um, we do do interviews um, because, yeah, uh, I try to make sure that we have the best team possible to do this. So it's not just, you know, anybody and anybody. Um, please expect that there is going to be a process for joining our team. Um, we are ran as an LLC here in uh, Arizona, and that is what we will do. Um, legalities that come with volunteer teams or legalities that come with um, you know, uh, having a contractor, uh, 1099, uh, you know, dealing with the IRS and paying people, none of this is under the table. So, um, I, I just want to make sure that's, that's very clear that, you know, it's done exactly how it's supposed to be. Um, you know, how any business or proper business should run. Um, so if you are interested, then, then yes, you, you expect this to be done professionally as it should um, any place that's not doing it like that, um, I don't have too many words about that, but I'm going to go ahead and post this in the Discord. Did you see Madeline's question for you, Jay? What was Madeline's question here? It's on Slack. Okay, let me see. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, 
Thanks for letting me know that that was in there. Yeah, sounds good. Okay. All right, so yeah. All right, so I think uh, we're ready to start. Uh, that way things don't get too boring here. We don't want that. So uh, basically, and we do have a, quite a few questions in here. So like I said, we are starting off with the introductions here. Um, many of you are already familiar with uh, my ugly mug here. So <laughs> um, I'm Jay. Uh, I, am, I go by the pronouns of he, they. Uh, I am in Arizona, United States. Uh, I am the Inkblot founder. So uh, if you aren't familiar, that's what I do. I manage Inkblot and uh, everything that comes along with it, the teams, the development, uh, marketing, all that other good stuff. Um, otherwise, uh, I am non-binary trans mass, uh, and yeah, I have two cats. I like cars and drawing. So, um, not that anybody here on the team needs to go so in depth. I'm just so used to <laughs> kind of rattling these things off. Um, but we are actually here for the first time with our, um, our, uh, our, our teammates here, uh, here. So my teammates, basically. So your support team is uh, for Inkbot is here with us today for the first time. Um, and I don't know which one of you want to go first. Um, but basically, after we do introductions, we will we'll have some doing some questions. Again, I'll type uh, in the a non box here for uh, any folks here in the Twitch chat uh, to be able to. Uh, Go ahead and type in, uh, you know, a question anonymously. If you want to actually speak with us, you can. You can go ahead and enter our Twitter space. It's on our Twitter live. Um, that's where the other team is, um, or the other team members here are. And anybody in the Twitter space, you can also request uh, to talk. Um, I hope that that setting is there. Um, this is being recorded both on Twitch and on our Twitter space. So uh, we will post these basically uh, at the end uh, on our YouTube where we post all of our community halls. So anyway, um, does either uh, Harper or Madeline, either one of you want to go ahead and introduce yourself? Uh, just a name, pronouns, age, and maybe two facts about yourself. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm happy to go first. Um, uh, well, my name is Madeline. My pronouns are she, her. Um, I'm also in Arizona, which is pretty cool. I remember when I first joined Inkblock, I'm like, oh, that's so convenient that we're so close to each other. Um, yeah, um, I've been making art forever, for as long as I can remember. Um, usually 2D stuff. When I was younger, a lot of animals. Um, definitely grew up on warrior cats. I don't know if there's anyone else here. I love my little kitties. Warrior cat crew. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I feel like so many of us started from there. So I always throw that out, like any warrior cat game. Um, and nowadays, I usually do 3D art. Um, definitely a lot of Blender stuff. Um, but yeah, I'm like super stoked to be here. I've had such a good time working at Inkblot. And um, I'm like really excited. I feel like it's been a long time since... I, th I think the art community needs a win. That's what we just need a dub. That's all we need. So I feel like Inkblot kind of, I'm excited for it. So, but yeah, that's me. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you for introducing yourself. Uh, Harper? Hi, all. Um, I'm Harper. I am a lesbian. I'm a Vietnamese lesbian. I live in Minnesota. Uh, I... I don't really like know where I'm at with my gender, uh, but you can use any pronouns. And um, I'm a 2D illustrator. I like to do comics. I illustrate a lot of portraits. Um, it's mostly like anime stuff, you know, like uh, a gay anime stuff. That's mainly what I do. And um, yeah, I have worked in the nonprofit sphere um, and I worked in the tech sphere. I was uh, egregiously disappointed by both of those. So now I'm here and um, I've just been answering tickets and that's all. That's me. Awesome. So sorry about the whole experience with the nonprofits, though. Oh, my God. <laughs> You don't even want to know. Like, I don't even, uh, you. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> um, okay. Well, hey, thanks. 
thanks for joining us, both of you. Um, I know that it's not it's not every day to be talking in front of people. Um, you know, it, for you know, I, I'm I'm very clear about you know how I do things and everything, and, and just you know, I'm very comfortable with myself. But like right now, my legs are shaking. <laughs> um, they always they always shake. Or when I do these Q and A's, and it's it's always crazy. Um, good thing that the like, the stream. I got my little back turned to the screen. <laughs> <laughs> I'll turn around and look at the chat, but I'm like, you know what? Maybe if I just like, you know, if I don't look, it's not as scary. But you know, I feel like, like I'm like, oh, shy. I gotta turn away. I can't look you in the eye. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're doing good. <laughs> yeah, no, we're, we're you know just goes to show you can you're only human. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, all right, so yeah, so let's dig into some of these thing, uh, some of these uh, anonymous questions. I'm gonna pop that back in the chat again. Um, I'm also gonna see if I can pop it in on this reply thread. Oh wait, did you already do that, Harper? Pop what? Uh, the anon box? The anon box, uh, yeah. Yeah, I already put that on the, the reply thread. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay. Um, again, if anybody wants to speak, um, you know, with us here, we have that Twitter space there um, to be able to have someone just have a conversation with the team. Um, Do you want me to comment it on, on your space post? Uh, yeah, that's probably, that's probably best, yeah. Okay, yeah, I'll do that. Yeah. Um, to get us started, though, I'm going to start uh, here at the bottom. Uh, with uh, our first few questions that we got going on here. Okay, um, so our first uh, question is, uh, I'm brand new to Inkblot. What do you think is your best feature? <laughs> I mean, that, that's kind of a hard question for me, um, only because, uh, you know, I run I run all the teams, but my the, the major team that I run is the development team, right? So um, that... That that's so hard because I always forget which features that we actually have. It's kind of crazy. I know it sounds it sounds crazy, um, but I I'm I'm always like okay, we gotta keep going. We gotta we gotta keep going. And I and then someone is asking a question and like, hey, do you have this? And I'm like, wait, do we have this? <laughs> and so I'm so I really um, don't know if I would say what's the my favorite or what's the best one because. I can't remember them all, but I, and I really should make a list. But um, I think that my favorite one is probably the, or the best one is probably the comparison feature. I've seen people, it, not only is it cool, but it's also like I've seen people mention that given the state of events or I guess the what's going on with AI and everything, like we, ha we have to unfortunately, you know, show our work in progress and our sketches and that we did it from start to finish. You know what I mean? Mm. Um, and people have mentioned that. So, um, that's, that's one of the, one of the things that I think is the best feature. Now, I don't know, uh, Harper, Madeline, do you have what would be probably Inkbot's best feature? Ooh, that's such a hard question. <sighs> Let me think. I mean, honestly, I think like the commission page and the fact that there's like integrated commissions into it is like really good. I know it's not like, I know that's something that's integrated into like a lot more art websites now, but I think the fact that we're like doing it from the get go is yeah. really good. Yeah, yeah. That makes I'm, sense. I'm all about getting my money, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a mutual feeling amongst all of us. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, um, to, like, piggyback on that, just regarding the commissions, I also like it, too, because, so, I personally, I, I don't really take too many commissions, but I love commissioning artists, and I really like the option of being able to commission artists, even ones that I'm not super familiar with, because I think, um, as someone who commissions art, um, for me, when I'm interested, I have like a little, like kind of like a little Google um, link page for my own uses. Like, I'm like, oh, I want to like commission like a human, like with humans in it, or like, oh, I want like a furry in it, or whatever. Like, I, like I'll have like a little page for those options for what I'm looking for. But I, it kind of depends on me actively really searching for those artists that I like. Mm -hmm. um, 
And I really like the idea of the commissions page because it gives me the option to see artists that I maybe haven't heard of before. Um, and I feel like, because like, and I know that this is such a big conversation. Um, it's like it, one of the most exhausting things about being an artist. And if you rely even like remotely on your commissions is that it's not just making the art that's the job. It's like the social media part of like yeah. being like fighting the algorithm or like make sure that you're posting at the right time or you're making sure that there's no like like words that are like blocked. Like, you know, like if you say PayPal, it like basically dumps yeah. your like uh, post to the bottom on Twitter. Yep. And I really like the commission page for that because you're not worrying about that. You're getting exposure for everybody. And I encourage like so many people like, I think of, like, back in DeviantArt when, like, people thought, like, oh, my art is worth 15 cents with the point system. And I'm like, no, it's worth <laughs> so much more. Put your art out there. So I don't I don't want to go on a tangent or anything. But, yeah, totally agree on the commission thing. No, that's, that's awesome. Yeah. Um, no, I, I think that that's – it's also, you know, just, you know, being com- completely honest – uh, it's also the area that we need to, to, to focus on a lot more. You know, we've we've been definitely dumping into the you know the social interactions type of areas, um, and that's because you know it, it does matter um, how how we're allowing users to interact and stuff like that. And obviously, being able to post that's uh, all those features are definitely a priority. But we definitely need to make sure that we're we're going on uh, and getting on with you know like the commissions area. We do have a bunch of feedback request or feedback um, f- about the commissions page and what we, what direction we should take it. So what you're looking at right now with the commissions area is definitely a, a work in progress, and it's just kind of like a fresh sheet for us to be able to uh, work off of, um, because you know we, we can't. It would it would make no sense to just add a, a bunch of features for the commissions page um, without having feedback first, because then if we have to spend time removing features that nobody else wanted. Um, well, that would just be a waste of our time. But um, I agree, the commissions page is, is absolutely um, something that is valuable to all of us, um, not only just artists, but also people that are on Inkblot that are trying to find commissions easily. Um, that's definitely, we want to make that page, uh, that whole section just way better. Um, I did post like a poll that mentioned like adoptables and stuff. I know that, you know, there's a few folks that love the adoptables um, and we'll go ahead and you know, have have it so that we can have auctions built, built in. Um, and, uh, you know, there, there's just way more to come. Um, again, you know, that's that's just with development, it takes time. But, you know, uh, given the traction and, and given the support that we've had over the last few days, it's, it's literally, you know, I guess I kind of jumped into questions way too fast, right? Because I, I really should just be saying thank you um, to everyone that has retweeted us, that has, you know, even just commented, boosted our posts, has told a friend, has linked our page, you know, it, everyone that has signed up, everything, and I'm, I'm trying not to get, you know, emotional here, but, um, you know, it, I've been doing this for two and a half years, and, you know, it was just, it, it was definitely difficult, and you just, you just never know, and it's just, so many people are signing up and so many people are saying, you know, giving their feedback and, and telling us and cheering us on. And that is, that just means so much. It's, we, you know, this kitchen, this, this little space that you see behind me is where Inkblot started. Like right here at this counter, I was coding it myself. So to be here and have to and say just a couple hours ago, like, hey, we hit 10,000 followers. That's not something I, I thought I would say. And there's there's times where I didn't think I would ever say that. So I should have said thank you when I started this because from the bottom of my heart, I am so thankful um, that you're, you're giving us a second, that you're giving us a chance. Um, and yeah, thank you so much. So um, the team that you're, that you're here or listening to today, um, your support is keeping us, um, you know, 
up and running uh, the website the apps being able to download them being able to make an account all of that support um, monetary uh, you know from the patron to the co to the ko-fi um, to the pro memberships that all goes directly into the website um, and also uh, it helps Madeline and Harper here get paid so that they can help you guys um, the only the only teams that get paid right now is our development and our support team um, I, I do not get paid. This is literally, I breathe, eat, and talk about this every single day um, for the last two and a half years. So um, this this is what I do. I don't need to get paid until everyone everyone is, is happy and satisfied. So um, again, thank you. And um, but let's let's continue with the questions before I start to cry. So. <laughs> You're so crazy, Jay. Jay, you can't say all that and then be like, oh, let me just finish <laughs> can i say something go ahead go ahead okay okay jay is so humble everyone and i just i just want to say that like we need you guys like and i think that the jay is is very much like he's like we're gonna do it even if it means i have to eat like paper and I'm like, don't make that happen to Jay. Don't make the, I believe in you all. I know that you all like see the value in like what he sees. And that is that like, we as marginalized creators can make something from the ground up and support each other and make something that like capitalism says can't exist. And I just want to say that I think that we can do it. And I think that art and ethics can like coexist. I think that in the age of like cryptocurrency and like crypto art um, and like the desperation of like making the grind as an artist makes people wonder if like art and ethics can coincide and they can. And like we, I said this earlier when we were talking in private, but people say like, we want to make a platform for artists by artists all the time, but nobody ever thinks about like what that means. And I think that we have to know that something that is made like by your community for your community means that everything that we do like needs to exist and be worked towards for the betterment of like who we are as artists. Um, anyways, that's just what I'm saying because like, I just think that like Jay like needs to know how much he needs to get hyped up for like doing this in the first place. Cause he's crazy for that. <laughs> and I, I'm crazy about him. So yeah. <laughs> Uh, you know, it's 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 so scary and it's so brave, but it's like I I just keep keep looking forward. That's it because I'm like, and and that's why I mentioned earlier. Like I I forget the features that we've done. I forget the things that we've done. And and someone will mention it. And I'm like, wait, we did that. And I'm like, wait a minute. And you know, and and it's it's all it's. I have to take us a lot of steps back and just kind of realize that we went there and we did that already. But again, you know, I don't want to take all the credit for myself. I'm not, I am very humble. I, I, I try to be, um, but um, it's, I, I think that with something like this, this is a community thing that, you know, it's a community space. And, you know, even though I did, I did get up one day and be like, let's do this. Um, you know, everyone that's, that's, at, you know, adding to it feedback requests you know whether that's they're putting in their three dollars or you know whatever um they that's that's like i like i always say in all of the town halls everyone's gonna have a brick on this house and this is our house. You know, that dollar is everything though that dollar is everything it is. oh it, it is yes i i agree i agree it is that's the only way that we're that we can be here um is is because if we start going and, and start trying to get funding from from places from, you know, I'll be completely honest. If we start trying to get funding from rich cisgender white men, it's it's not gonna no, it's not gonna be what we want. It's not gonna be what we yeah. need either. Um, so 
I'm trying, I'm trying my 100% hardest to keep it 100% community funded um, so that we, so that we can exist in that, you know, places like Wikipedia and Archive of Our Own, they are there because they're community funded because they uh-huh. say things, um, that, you know, especially Wikipedia, they say things on there that the government doesn't like, that people don't like, that rich, rich, you know, people don't like that, but, you know, but yet it's there because they can't take it down if it's community funded. There's, uh-huh. there's nobody that says like, you know, I can't pay whoever to take it down because there's nobody that owns it that has that connection because it's community funded. So, you know, we need to, I cannot stress enough how it's important it is to be community funded because not only are queer spaces being erased, but um, they're being erased and considered NSFW. Um, and, mm-hmm. and NSFW is also being, you know, is also, you know, it's pretty queer um, as well. So, you know, that goes, that goes hand in hand, but, you know, they're taking that, they're taking that whole thing and like, okay, all of, being queer is NSFW and and you know we already know that you know I, me personally I know that being trans is literally um it is being a, a radical it's it's literally going uh-huh. against the grain it's going against everything that they you know that they like and that they want to see you know so you know not to make this political or anything but this is I'm trying to protect one spot one space one safe space you know, um, mm-hmm. and, and that's, that's, yeah, it would be, that's so important. Um, and so that's why the importance of community fund is so that this will be here forever because we own it and it's ours and it's, it's not going to be like some watermelon must coming in and taking it and, 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 yeah. and, 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 and wrangling it around and squeezing it for all its money and, and then, and then throwing it away, it'll be ours. And, and we'll, we'll have a say for everything we do. We'll have a say for every space that stays and every, you know, so that's, that's why that, that is why the support is for Patreon and, 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 and putting in $3 or $1. That's why it is so important to be community funded because it, this, it won't be the same if we let corporations or, you know, people that don't like us get a hold of it so Uh it's you know i don't want to be grim or anything but that is that is the goal that is the mission is to be community funded so that we can stay here and we can always have a place and there won't be places like deviantart that are taking our money and and using it for things that we don't even agree with or Uh or you know so yeah i'm so passionate about it i could go on forever so sorry but (laughs) Um, no, don't even be sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah, I, I, I um, let me let me read the next question, and if one of you um, could could start um, with this question, because I think some people want to speak or get invited to the space um, to speak, so I want to take care of that. Um, so I'll read okay. the question if if one of you two can uh, answer that while I do that. Okay. Um, but you know, uh, just to end that, thank you. For, for everyone that, that's tuning in and um, and anyone that is supporting Inkblot, retweet, donating, whether it's one time or monthly, which it's so important. Um, thank you so much. Uh, and I, I hope that, you know, you're enjoying Inkblot and that you're also, um, you're putting our, your faith and trust in us already. So we won't, we won't, we won't let you down. And I'm, I'm very happy that you can meet the team because they're lovely people. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm really excited to be here and like, you know, I know that we've been talking about it for a bit, but yeah, like it does feel good. Like I'm sure anybody who's in here knows the state of the art community, how we've been desperately trying to find a space for us. Um, one that is good for the, like it's safe for us and it's also safe for just like people in the community. And that goes for like, and like know, the earth. Yeah, right. Um, that goes for like any like uh, any queer people, like any especially minors too. That's one that um, comes up as well um, because they deserve to have a space, but it's also important that that space is separated um, from NSFW yes. and any unsafe situations for minors, yes. and that any adults as well are not tangled in that. We want to make sure right. that separation too, but like. Um, we're here, we're listening, we are a part of the community, 
Um, mm -hmm. It's really important. Like everybody on here is super passionate about it. You know, and, like we're getting there. We're a small team. It takes time, but I feel pretty good about it. Uh, we all feel pretty good about it. You know. Yeah. Um, Walt, did you have anything to close up this topic before we get back to questions? I mean, no, I am. Walt Harper. I am ready. I am actually um, replying to somebody with a ticket right now. <laughs> Okay, gotcha. I'm so sorry. No, uh, no, no. Uh, okay, so uh, let me get uh, this question. This next question is, uh, where do you see Inkblot in five years? Um, and Madeline, do you have any uh, idea of what, where you see it in five years? Um, that's a really good question. Um, I know that I am not, um, I'm not on the development side. Um, not, I'm not a programmer or anything like that. We just support and everything. Um, in five years, it's hard to say. Um, I, I would say, like, most of my experience in the past comes from more, like, larger companies and everything. So this is the first time I'm in a startup. But just seeing, like, the past and I'm thinking of, like, other websites that have sprouted up. Like, there's been a lot of attempts to try to make a good art, uh, website that, like, it's it not even just good. Um, one that stays for a while. Um, I think that's another thing too, is that it's hard to want to invest time and energy onto a site when you're like, I have no idea if like next year the site is just going to vanish off the face of the earth. And it's super frustrating, um, you know, cause you don't want to be up and down trying, getting your heart broken by new sites, you know? Um, I do feel like just from alone, like we are running this as a business first and foremost, um. It isn't like, you know, it isn't like a cute little, like, project on the side. Um, it isn't like, you know, just like something that we do in passing or like, oh, this sounds like it might be fun. And it is fun, you know. I mean, like, of course, there's frustrations that come with starting a company or, like, working on a site like this. Um, but it's, I definitely feel like just the passion, it's not only the passion that is from the team, but it's also just, like, a very realistic understanding that this is a business. There's money that goes into it. Um, even though, like, yeah, with, like, it, it's first and foremost, it's like we're making a safe space for our community, um, our art community. There is the realistic, uh, oh my God, I'm totally losing my word. It's, it's totally realistic that we have to think about money in the future because that is just how it is. Um, and I'm thinking, like, as we get more and more into adding features and stuff, uh, we can add, like, some exciting things, and, like, even though, like, obviously, like, with all my heart, I love everyone that is supporting every, um, that's just, like, supporting just because they want to support. We also want to make it fun for you, you know, like, add some cute little widgets or something, like, decorate your profile, or add just more things like that. So, like, as, I, I feel good because I feel like even though, um, like, we have so many supporters and it keeps growing and everything, we're going to add some new stuff so that makes it more enticing, you know, like be like, oh, now I kind of want to maybe donate a little bit more. And then with that, like we can add more and more features and like get a bigger team. And like if we get a bigger team, we get more developers, we get more uh, support agents and everything. Um, like it's just I feel like because like we even though we have our kind of idea of like we really want this to be a good art website where we have all of our little fun stuff where we can, we can post our art and like share it and make some friends we also have our feet on the ground when it comes to the business side of it because that's a really important thing and also just being aware of like the safety um of uh what is it the privacy and safety of our users is a really important thing um we want to make sure that ethically too the people on our team are aligning um to yes. like yes. what we want um yes. that's a really big thing um anybody who joins of course like they get a vibe check they get a vibe check that's like a big thing um we want to make sure that everybody's on the same page um and yeah like it's just like we're really determined that like you know we're checking all the boxes to make sure that this is because it's not only for us you know um a j more than all of us of course has put so much time energy and money into it and passion um, it's also for the community. We're all tired of getting our hearts broken. We're all tired of being like, oh, I 
thought this would be good, but it turns out like the person behind the site is not a good person. I don't feel good about engaging with it. Mm. It's frustrating. It's tiring. Um, so I would say like, I know I, I ramble a little bit. I ramble a little. I like to talk. No, you're all um, good. You're all good. You're making some very, very valid, very valid points. Oh, here. I'm so glad. I'm so yeah. glad. Um, but in the, I feel like in the next five years, like I wouldn't put a number on it or anything like that. But I do feel really hopeful about it, just from all the facts and everything. Um, you know, everyone behind the team um, being realistic about money, because that is like that's just you know the realistic matter of it is like the money, the business, and everything. Um, and we do just how our team is so far and how we kind of like screen people that joined us and everything. And it's not like we are not like super picky or anything like that. It's just like, do you understand, are you re a representative of the community? And it doesn't mean that you have to be an artist with 30K followers. I mean, like you can be an artist with 10 followers. It doesn't matter. The follower count doesn't matter. Do you make art? Do you feel good about art? Mm -hmm. Do you like sharing your art? Mm -hmm. You know? Do you think do you have passion behind creativity in all forms of art? It doesn't have to be like drawing. It could be like um, mixing music. It could be writing or anything like that. Like if you are representative of this and you are you align with the values that we have, you're like I feel like you're a good fit. And that's I want the community to feel like the people running the site are also people that I align with too, or I feel good about being around. So mm -hmm. I feel good about it. You know, that's how I feel. Five years in the future, I feel like it's still pretty good. Um, you know, if I felt bad about it, I'd, I'd be dead silent. I wouldn't be here, you know. <laughs> I feel really good about it, you know, being honest. That's good. I'm glad. I'm glad that, yeah. <laughs> Um, definitely want to support and do things um, that you, you know, work with things that you actually believe in. Um, yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, you know, I think uh, I was in a, a Twitter space uh, yesterday. Uh, not yesterday. Actually, I was, um, I guess I was, I was just seeing some discussion. And it was just like, you know, people were asking about their content guidelines. And it was just like you know, why, why don't, why don't you allow this? And, you know, we, we got some, we got some, some pretty interesting emails when we updated it, um, to, to, for clarifications on certain aspects of our, of our, um, content guidelines. And it was just like, people were like, well, why don't you do this? And da, 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 da. And I'm, I do not want to manage and put a lot of hours into a company that believes things that I don't believe in. Like, mm -hmm. that does not make sense to me. I'm not going to sit up here and put things on the content guidelines that I don't believe in because I, I I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't be here if I, it, like, why would I do that? You know, um, it, you got to have a passion for it. You got to, you got to have a belief for it. You got to, you got to have a stance against things and apply that to the company because I, I guarantee you 100% there's other people that believe and do the same and, and think the same way as you. Always, That's so true. It, it, it there is whether you think that adoptable is not gonna sell, it will because you made it. There is one person else out there that does that wants that adoptable <laughs> that also thinks that there shouldn't be an adoptable that maybe looks like Pikachu but it's red. Okay, like you know, I, there is people out there that love your stuff and the same thing with inkblot there i know that there's people that believe the same way that i do and, and and have a stance against the same things that i do and that's that content guidelines and having this team i know that there's other people that think and in and believe in the same things and take a stance against things that i do because i don't i'm not inviting people to the team that are wishy-washy on that content guidelines because those content guidelines are, are strictly what I believe in and take a stance against. So the team is all on the same page. And, and <laughs> anyone that is applying, I, you, you read it like, read it like you're taking a test. Read, read it like it's, there's gonna be a test on it. If you're applying for the moderator position especially, read it like you're taking a test because I will not allow someone you know, to come up in our house and, it's and, take and it or disrupt leave it. it. Yeah, it's take it or leave it. You need the whole thing, and you need to agree with the whole thing. You know, um, there, we are not going to have a moderator allowing certain content be in, and in, in, then the rest of the team, you know, doesn't agree or disagree. It, everyone needs to be on the same page. 
I, I, that is literally one of my worst nightmares. It, it's, so that's why when I say that we're doing interviews or we're, we're having a conversation, when if you apply and your, your application is chosen, we are having a conversation. We are, I want to, like, like Madeline said, there's a vibe check. <laughs> there's a vibe check. So, um, 100%. so, um, so yeah, so uh, in my answer to the five year question is uh, I want to see this. Uh, completely everywhere. I want us to be at conventions, at the art conventions, you know, I, I want us to be um, literally like scholarships um, for certain categories of art. Like if you're doing an animation or a pilot or something, I, I want us to be able to offer scholarships. I want us to be able to have like the person that, that needs the time to like, hey, I just need time to make this comic, da 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 da. I'm applying for this, I'm very passionate, here's da da da. Like I want scholarships. I, I want to be able to help people, you know, you know, take their projects and get it off the ground. That's where I see this going. It's bigger than just, you know, a, a, a social site or it's, it's literally helping the community. And I'm, I'm so passionate about it. So I'm sorry if I'm coming off a little loud, but, um, I just want to, I just want to, I have, yeah, I just, I just want to see it more than just a, a website. I want it to help people. I, I want it to, to be there and, you know, some, even to the point of maybe even like, of like offering somebody a full ride to any art art college or university that they want to go to. You know what I mean? Like that's where I want to see this going. And it, it still being 100% community funded. Every dollar counts towards the development and, and wh wherever we do that needs that wants to help the community or help individuals within it. That's that's what I see in the next 5 years. So, um Harper, do you have anything? Oh God, I wish I could be like as optimistic as you two. Um, <laughs> I, I hope that in five years, we will have enough to cover our server and storage expenses. That's all I want. I will, I will work for free. I don't care. I'll do it. Excuse me. <laughs> okay. I just... I just want, I just want, I want our users to be able to cover their own art hosting costs. That's all. Because we want to keep like high fidelity images. We want to be able to keep them for a long time. We want them to like, in the same way that like an artist that makes physical work Mm -hmm. is able to keep like a log of their own art and know that that's safe and protected mm -hmm. when they keep it in like a storage container that's like temperature like cooled so that like the paint doesn't peel like i want people to feel like i can keep my art there and it's safe mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because longevity of art like has been killed mm -hmm. Um, and I just want that to be something that we can at the very least do for people, because I think, yes, we are a community for all creatives. Um, but I do think it's important that we are like hosting the next generation of creatives where all of our stuff is digital. Almost all of our media is digital and hosted on cloud storage mm -hmm. in this way that makes it so scary. Like you could lose it. You know what I mean? So yeah. I just, I just, I just want to be able to pay for the server and the storage cost. And I just want to break even and everybody will be like, Oh, thank God. I like my computer crashed or like I I can't pay for Apple iCloud storage anymore, but I can upload it to Inkblot and still get a high fidelity download of it later. All right. Okay. I see where you, I see where you're thinking. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I see. I understand. <laughs> you're thinking more realistic. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's important to have that realistic look on it though harper's you know? keeping us it's down it's <laughs> we're, we're flying it's we're it's flying it's away it's we're flying away in the in the sky <laughs> yeah it's really
really important to have those conversations, you know, because it's like, you know, it, I feel we're all pretty optimistic about it. But again, we have to be realistic, which is the really, really important part because, you know, yeah. unfortunately, the reality of so many things that you can be so, so passionate about something and you can work so hard on it. Right. But we do live in a world where, yeah, it's money. Yeah. Money makes yeah. things keep going. You yeah. know, so. I just, my worst nightmare as an artist mm -hmm. is oh no, I can't find this file that I had or it's like buried in a PSD somewhere and I don't even use Photoshop anymore. Uh, yeah. And um, the only image that I have is like a screen cap that I posted to Twitter, <laughs> oh, which God. got compressed into a <laughs> JPEG and has like artifacts on it now. And I'm just like, okay, <laughs> I guess I just have to deal with this. Like, I don't want that. <laughs> right. No, I got you. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I could see. I mean, it, my, you know, you bring up such a great point because I saw so many people with whatever happened yesterday with with DA. I, I think we all know what happened, and for those that uh -huh. don't, with the whole AI thing and them announcing that and causing such chaos, there were so many people that just deleted their whole entire account, like I years know. worth of work. You know what I mean? And it, it's like. It's going. That shakes me to my core. I'm like, they're gonna <laughs> use my little like, like, my optical mouse drawings of like Naruto for AI art, and I'm like, okay. It. I mean, my my thing with that is that all that work is gone. Yeah. That's it's it. Gone. It's not. We we will never. You know, it, we will never see that. There will never be somebody or you know some 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 young artists that will be able to look for inspiration from whoever deleted all their their gallery like that's mm -hmm. that's insane to me so yeah. you know and that's because yeah, they were pretty bummed out they were they were that's because you know they they inflicted panic on all of us mm -hmm. and, and and we just did it we just did what we had to do to protect our our work and our our passion and you know everything our, our blood blood sweat tears and everything into what that, that's that's ours you know there's no one that can take that away from us what we draw is no one can take that away from us and it's just you know it you know so you know it, there's there was this tool and i you know i know that there is like a you have to delete each one manually because i was on a phone call last night with my friends and they were deleting each one um, and I'm like, you got to delete each one. And then I saw on Twitter that there was a mass delete option. So when I say that people were literally mass deleting, they were. It was gone. But, so they mass deleted before they deleted their account. Like, you know, it, so it's, it's, that's, that's insane to me. But yeah, no, I, I understand. I understand, Harper, with the whole, the whole longevity of our archiving it and then also just being able to have this being able to break even i know five oh five my. years from now I, I would like to hope we make it there <laughs> i would like I, to hope that's that's my dream my dream is for us to break even that would make me so cheesed i would i would be like over the moon if, if we don't do it for me do it do it for harper <laughs> <laughs> If we don't do it for ourselves, do it for Harper. <laughs> um, okay, I, uh, I think it's okay to maybe move on to the next question. And then I think uh, anybody, I know that it's, I don't know how to have it so that it was, it's allowing you to request to speak. Um, but I have been in, inviting people um, to, you know, that have been letting us know, you know, just let me know your Twitter, Twitter username and I can invite you to speak. Um, so I've been sending those manually. So sorry about that. I don't know how this works. <laughs> um, but yeah, we'll do one more question and then we'll have somebody speak because uh, I know that we had two people that requested to speak here um, and one person's waiting. So um, so let's get here. Let's go. Uh, with people searching. So this, this, this question has, with people searching, you know, I think it's a little bit more funnier, uh, not funnier, but I think it's a little bit more quirky if we say, who, who, you know, the anonymous username, because every time you submit a question into this box, it gives you the name of an animal. So, okay, let's go. So this wombat. <laughs> so this, this wombat waddles up. Yeah. And what they say is, 
with people searching for a new art platform, what are your plans slash roadmaps in the event that Inkblot grows at a speed beyond your projected rates? That is happening right now. Yeah, that's happening right now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you we, take that one. Uh, <laughs> Um, yeah, I got, I got this one. Um, so yeah, I've been, I've been, cr I've been crunching numbers in, uh, for the last, last week so far, um, given that we've had a lot of momentum. Um, yeah, we're, we're in it. We're, we're in it. We, we are, we are, our server, server bandwidth, our storage is skyrocketing. I've posted images of it on, on Twitter. Um, you know, we, we met one month's worth of, ex of server expenses within within a week so usually it, it was about maybe about a hundred and twenty dollars we did that within a week we're currently approaching two hundred dollars with our server hosting expenses and stuff like that but you know most of that is because of the storage i mean we are we are mostly a gallery site but you know we also have the audio files and the video files yes we have video yes um but you know yeah we're we're in it we're, we're, we're in it. So that, that's where we're at. So, you know, what are your plans or roadmaps in the event that it does? Our plan is run around with our heads off. I'm joking, but no, um, it is to just keep pushing and being completely transparent. And I, I have put money into this company off of my own income. And as Harper has said, I have eaten ramen noodles for this company. <laughs> And I would do it again with my personal funds. Um, you know, complete transparency. I've always, I've said this in the community halls already. I've put six thousand dollars into this company before the Kickstarter, and I'm I am self-employed freelancer. That was all of my money. That was it. That I put. I put savings into it. I I skipped hanging out with friends. I put it. I put it all in. And I'll do it again if it comes to that point, but it, it won't. It wouldn't be stable, and well, I don't think I don't think I would be. I'd be looking this well. I'd probably be unhealthy. <laughs> um, but that's how much I believed in it. So I was able to put that much money into it, and I'd do it again. So um, again, any dollar that you put towards this company goes towards right to right to keeping it up keeping it running keeping it here so um you know um unfortunately i'm your i'm your guy i'm your backup plan i'm the plan b through z <laughs> no, he's not a good he's not a good backup plan I, i'm not a good backup plan but i gotta be the backup plan so you know it, that's just how much i believe in it you know that i'm willing to sacrifice that much and i have already so um yeah, I guess, you know, there's not too much that can be said or, or, or you know, hinted on with that, that question. Um, I guess we'll do one more before we go to our speaker here. And um, uh, mm -hmm. this fox walks up and says, I'm new to Inkblot, and I'm curious. Why the 10 post limit? And do you plan on having a group function like DeviantArt? The fox growled. I'm joking. Um, we... <laughs> All right, we have a 10 post limit for our free users and a 20 post limit for our pro users. And uh, back to the last question, that's because of storage. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I'm so sorry that it, it, you know we have to have that limit. So but, true. Uh, let me tell you a little story. When, before we had that limit, there was a person that uploaded 150 submissions in one night. No, and never came back. And never came back. Never logged in. Stop. <laughs> never logged in again. <laughs> I, I still go and check that account to see if they ever logged in. <laughs> so um, I'm sorry, but we are not your Google Drive. Um, not at this point. Not at this time. We, are we would love to be. We would, we love, would love to be to your be Google be Drive. If, we would love yeah. To be we would love to be your art Google Drive if if you can help us get paid first. Right. I would love to. Um, but yeah, that is that is why that 10 post limit is there. 
Um, I was I was I was still by myself at the time. It was just me, and that happened. And the um, you know we 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 run through Cloudflare, which is one of the best. And it was emailing me. It was like there's a DDoS attack. Something is happening. The servers were, 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 were alarming. I was waking up in the middle of the night. I don't know where this person was from, but I was like, yo, what is going on? And I, I looked at it it's and it was like, cozy artist. Oh my God. I really am so passionate about my art. I really am. And I really want to help people. Like, How? Wait, 150. In Did one... they have like multiple tabs open? I have. And click go all at I don't. I have no idea. I, I I don't know how they did it. I I'm not. I'm glad. You know, in some aspect, I'm glad that it was that easy to upload, right? I'm, mm-hmm. I need to take well, the positives here, but yeah, it means it works. I was like, wow. I was impressed. I can't even be mad. I was just impressed. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've, obviously I woke up in a panic because I'm like, oh my God, something's going on. You know, we're getting attacked, you know? And then I was, it was just that. And I was just like, wow. I was, <laughs> I was just, I was like, wow. So um, that's why that post limit is there. Um, that's, it's, a, it's a little funny, quirky little story. Um, that entire gallery is still there. Um, obviously I won't disclaim who, who the user was, but the entire gallery is still uploaded and there is only one other Play. person that has surpassed 150 submissions, um, in, in, in Inkblot as of right now, I think there's, oh, there's somebody wow. that has 300. <laughs> um, but yeah. Um, now do you have plans to, uh, plan on having a group function like DeviantArt? Um, Fox person, we already have groups. So, um, Yeah. That's, that's the, that's the state of events. Yeah. Um, Maybe the Fox wants us to have the fun little, um, 25 by 70, like pixel, uh, group badge. That's like animated. Wait, what? Wait, who? you know, in DeviantArt groups, yeah, you can make it, you can make an icon, but it has to be a specific size and it's only like GIF. You, we're gonna. I need. I need you to show me that because I, I want it. I want it. Yeah, it's definitely. It's definitely a work in progress. But I think that was. I. I for me, like I. I really, really love community when it comes to art stuff. Like uh-huh. so many times. Like just growing up. Like I remember all my good memories. Like I've met so many good friends and everything. And I definitely like. I feel like my skill has gotten so much better just from meeting people from groups and stuff. Um. So I, I'm really excited about it. It's definitely you make... getting there. Go on. Oh yeah, that's. I mean, that's basically it. I mean, it's definitely getting there. It's still a work in progress, but um, I'm excited for it for it to get better or get bigger and better. You know. Yeah. No, for sure. Yeah, we're we're only in our beginning. This is just the beginning. Um. So you know. Um, you know, a lot of people are making this happen, um, and it's truly we're only at this point because of the support that we've we've gained and, and the people that are backing us. So, um, you know, it'll definitely get big. Yeah, for sure. I, I believe in that for sure. Um, I'm just gonna mark this one off and then get that speaker. Yeah, let's get the speaker in. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, um. Is it Rosaria? I'm sorry. Yeah, we can hear you. Yes, we can hear you. We can hear you, you're just a bit quiet. Yeah, it seems like there's a lag.
yeah, go ahead with the questions. We're so, I, I think um, we're just being quiet. Uh, um, Yes, um, I, I know there's a lag, so I just wanted to answer the question. Um, yes, uh, please uh, submit a, a report um, because, I mean, that's something that sounds like it can be fixed right away. Okay, um, so I did hear your whole list. I know that the lag's gonna be there. Also, I'm done. I'm so sorry about the lag. I know that is a lot. The lag is such a beginning with how Twitter is, you know, Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Um, and I have a question for you. Um, okay, um, so no I... No problem. Um, so I just, I just heard you say the, uh, your apology just now, and that's fine. Um, it, it's okay, it's lag. Um, it's also, you know, we're trying to make sure that we, we get everybody on and able to ask questions and that's fine um so um from what i can remember um we have the basically we have the uh the vault we have the digital currency that you were asking about and um then we also had the copyright for video um so with the vault the assets vault basically i do we already have so a lot of these features that you mentioned are actually on our feedback board so feedback.inkblot.art you'll wanna go ahead and go there, and that will go ahead and, and basically show you our roadmap, what we're actively working on, what we're planning, what we're considering, and what other people have voted on or have suggested to us. Um, you wanna make sure that you know, it, you know, other people haven't done the same idea. Now that's okay, I'll merge the idea with the same idea. I do that all the time. I, I maintain that board. Um, pretty often and the development team uh, we also look at that board while we have our meetings and everything um, I work as like a agile project manager or product manager um, so basically you know just kind of uh, taking the feedback and putting it into the board and kind of you know okay well you know what can we improve here and stuff like that and also taking the requests and also putting them in streamlining streamlining them into the development so that um, is that feedback board would most likely be your best friend. Um, but yes, um, now digital currency, I think we all are aware that DA kind of messed us up with our DA points um, when it came to buying commissions with DA points. I think that 
Um, that's something that the community is going to have to vote on. Um, and, and really, you know, cause I've seen a lot of people mention point system, but then I've also seen a lot of negative feedback about a point system. Um, you know, at some point these things are not in my hands. Um, even if I am, um, you know, lead for the development project, because, um, this is a community owned, um, you know, community owned space. So this, you know, essentially I'm, I'm just managing it at, at, at some point, um, because, you know, um, yeah, I'm, I'm just, someone needs to manage all of the teams and how things go. But otherwise, um, I do think that DA Points has a very negative feedback on it, but people have mentioned it. If you go on the, the feedback board, you can go ahead and search for points or some type of, you know, um, currency, and people have mentioned it in the past. There have been a lot of discussion about it in our Discord as well. Um, it Don't let me saying the negative part, the negative feedback, that's literally just what I've experienced over the last two and a half years. Um, I'm, I'm pretty familiar with the positives and negative, um, you know, discussions that have been across a lot of different requests that have been made. So um, I only say that. Um, but again, it's really about that board and what the community wants. So you'll go ahead, push it up, um, keep bringing it up. And, um, you know, uh, you know, that's basically something that, you know, everyone else is going to have to discuss before we would implement. Um, when it comes to the vault, that's one of our mo one of our hot like requested uh, you know features. Um, it's going to be something similar to that of like uh, Clip Studio Paint. Clip Studio Paint has all those assets and everything specifically for Clip Studio Paint. But my whole big idea with that is like, okay, what if we had one specifically for like you know for not specifically but for all of them? Like you're able to like look through it all in like, okay, I I want a brush for Procreate. You know, instead of going to like 50 different websites and being like, okay, you know, I got to find this brush. Like, what if you just had one spot to put them all, you know? Like, I know that some people, they sketch and procreate, but then they also finish the sketch or finish the piece in, in, in Clip Studio. Or if they finish it in, in Photoshop. So it's not like someone's going to be like, oh, let me just bookmark this one website. And, you know, I, I mean, I, that must be a blessing for those that, that do only need to have the one but I, I know that I work in Photoshop, I work in I work in Procreate, and I work in Clip Studio Paint, so I have brushes all over the place. But it would be nice if I had just one website that could do that. And not only that, but you know, people that have like you know other assets, you know, like stamps and patterns and, and stuff like that. So we do have like an assets an assets um, directory in mind, and that's already on the roadmap. So again, that feedback board is going to be your best friend. Um, and again, that's feedback dot inkblot dot art. Okay, um, but uh, I think that with the copyright, I'm gonna have to actually look more into that. Um, I think that we have our, our, our existing copyright terms. Um, and so you, I would just say, go to support.inkbot.art and take a look at our, our copyright terms there already. We also have specifically a, a copyright policy article on its own. Um, so it's not only in our terms of service, but also its own page. Um, but if there's any particular questions in, or things that I need to add to that page, please let me know because I, you know, I, I we do host video, but I, I'll be quite honest, I don't think that, I don't think, I, I haven't thought that there was extra copyright terms for video that weren't already covered by the basics. Um, but, you know, that's, you know. I, 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 as, as it, somebody that's, I, I've gotten terms in the business and, you know, I might be pretty good with, with all that stuff, but I'm, I'm only one person knowledgeable about that. So it would definitely help, um, to get some feedback from, from, uh, from anyone, uh, to, for us to take a look and, and, and make sure that we're covering all of our basics here. Um, did any of the, uh, anyone else on the team have anything? Um, what I was going to say, uh, regarding the copyright thing, um, yeah. uh, that is like super important. I know, especially the animation community. Mm -hmm. um, there's so so many creators that come together for like maps and all that. Um, so yes. definitely, True. that could be something that we just need to look into further because I know it's just such like a it's just such like a pivotal thing. Like it's super important. Yes. Um, um, and there was another thing. Um, they actually they they did ask one question that uh, I think was missed. Um, it was regarding profile customization. Oh right, go ahead. Um, uh, yeah, I mean I can explain just what we've been talking about a bit about it because so for me personally, I am such a big advocate for profile customization. I grew up on my Tumblr, on my DeviantArt, and every single I was on Neopets. I'm a big Neopets fan, decorating every single profile that I could. 
Um, so I know how important that is for a lot of people. Um, I know that kept me hooked for a while on a lot of websites, um, just making it really personal. Um, and uh, we did talk about it. And I know one of the difference, you know, like, I believe in the past we did have, like, we did have, like, a customization, like, custom CSS, CSS and HTML um, part for our input for the profiles. But we actually took it down because it, there was a security issue with it. Um, like, basically, there was just code that could be run that was detrimental to the site and was dangerous. So that's why we took it down and we haven't re-added it since. Mm -hmm. um, because it would be something that we would have to look into further because... Um, of course, the most important thing is the safety and privacy mm -hmm. um, of everybody. Um, we want to make sure that even though like we have these fun things, that they're functional mm -hmm. and they're beneficial to the mm -hmm. site. Um, so we did go back and forth about it, and uh, especially me, I'm super annoying about it. I love profile customization. <laughs> <laughs> I can talk about it all day. Um, we did talk about it a bit, and one of the different things is too is... Um, the site since we are so the site is like a web app and it's also like an app as well and a lot of times especially now um most people are usually browsing from their phone um just most of the time um and like we have support we also have to make sure that if we do profile customization it supports mm -hmm. um the web app android and the ios versions so we did go back and forth about it and we're thinking uh, about doing little modules, um, mm -hmm. the like where it's just like you kind of have boxes. Um, I guess the best way I can think about it or describe it, um, DeviantArt did that. I know Steam does something like that too. Um, any game, Gaia. Player, uh, we're representing them. Um, the just having little boxes where we can have those little custom um, CSX uh, code being run there. Or just like being able to have like, oh, like a little YouTube video or a clock or like, you know, like page dolls. I miss those so much. Um, mm -hmm. We're trying to figure out how to do it where it's compatible with all versions of Inkblot. Um, that is accessible too. And it's also important that it's safe. We don't want, like, I know I mentioned that, but it's not only just like code wise um, that people, it's also things that people are abusing to like bait people on into seeing things that they don't want to see um mm. so like you know just people abusing it in ways like that um we want to make sure that it's good all around but we definitely definitely have plans to do that um it's super important to us um to me of course um so yeah we definitely plan with the modules like we're just little boxes that's kind of like the thing that we have um kind of up at the top right now that we're thinking um for that um I know that's something we still need to talk about, like if it would be available for free users, it would be something that would be behind the pro membership. Um, I don't know if you had input on that, Jay, what you were thinking. Um, for the customization being accessible with only pro users or? Yes, yes. Okay. Um, yeah, it just would, something like that. It would start out like that. You know, that, that's that's definitely mm -hmm. something that's going to that's gonna have to, you know, we... we <laughs> I hate to put it behind a paywall, right? Because, but yeah. we also, you know, that that's definitely something that you know people. If pe if we're only offering it for three dollars, <laughs> okay, um, then 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 you know, um, I th I think that we can. If we need to prioritize the servers and in staying alive, because there's no custom there's no custom profiles if, if there's no ink flat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, I mean that totally makes sense. 100%. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it would be it, it would have to be um, behind the pro, which um, I, I honestly I think with the price of the pro, we're at three dollars. I don't see pro going in any higher, four or five bucks. It, like in the long run, yeah. to be quite honest, I I don't think that that's. I think it three dollars is is honestly great. I I really do. Um, you know. Well, it, I like it that price too. I'm so sorry to interrupt. I like that price too because it's. I feel like it's really accessible too, and it's also again like, um, like we have options, um, like on how much you want to support, and I totally understand like. Mm -hmm. um again we are like a little startup and even though like like we can say how confident we are about it it is 
totally, 100%, absolutely, reasonably understandable to be like, I don't feel 100% about investing that much money into it, but I still want to have the fun stuff. You know, I want to put some money into it. So I think the $3 is good for now. Mm -hmm. Um, Of course, like, you want to, you are lovely for donating and lovely for supporting us. So if you want to be a little extra lovely or you can do a little bit more. Um, so yeah, I, I feel good about it, but profile customization, love that, want that. We all want that. Yes. Um, I want to go back to auto playing my fallout boy. forcing Not people to listen. the auto play. Not the follow. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Imagine we can go back to that those days. Um, but yeah. So that, that's that for the for at least those questions there. I was the I think that was the one missing one. Um, at someone in the Twitch chat said, um, uh, Olivia Olivia Tree in the Twitch chat said, "There's a difference between a paywall and gifts for helping the site stay alive." They also say, "I think if you were hiding beneficial beneficial functionality behind a paywall, that'd be an issue. But just pretty things, nah, that's perfect." Oh yeah, I think I that's agree with a great that point. One. That's good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's very kind. Thank you. Um, but yeah, yeah, I, I think uh, yeah, that was a great point. And also the the I, I want to say before we move on, um, Madeline is is rooting for you guys and pushing internally um, every almost every day for the profile customization. Just so y'all know, oh, I'm, but she I'm doesn't so let me annoying. forget. She <laughs> she doesn't let me yeah, forget. I, I, I'm like, Please. <laughs> There is okay. So there is this thing. I think before I think DeviantArt made it harder to embed images. So the way that they filtered this out was you could only display a deviation that you had already submitted. So we could do something where it's like you can select, you can make a module, and it only displays an art that you've submitted. Mm-hmm. And the art can just be like any image or something. But that way we know what kind of image it is and whether or not it's not zipper work or whatever. And then it can be displayed. Very so true. that could mean that you have like a fun little pixel or yeah. whatever, that, like a blingy. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Let's right. And, and, you, at it. and we gotta, we have to add more functionality to the gallery, right? Because then, you know, you don't, yeah. want, if you don't want that popping up in, on your gallery page, um, then you, you know, we should be able to put push put it away into like a little archive or like a little vault area um, where yeah. you know sketches or anything that doesn't want you don't want on the gallery, which is an idea that we already have and you know um, otherwise just working on, um, and it's it's pretty easy. So um, which that you'll probably see that very soon to be quite honest. So um, yeah, so no, that that's a great idea, um, Harper, because that that's something that we need to you know we still need to moderate the, 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 the things that people submit. So, mm-hmm. um, just want to, uh, just, um, again, uh, Rosario, um, thank you so much for those questions. Um, it doesn't matter if it was already being asked or if it was elsewhere, don't worry about it. Um, it's always good to bring up the feedback board, always good to mention it. And also, you know, the fact that we were able to take a second to talk about it, that probably other people were asking or thinking about that. So don't worry about you know, uh, asking duplicate questions or things that, you know, was possibly covered elsewhere, just ask to your heart's content. We're, we're okay. We're talking about it. Um, I'm going to do, let me, let me read this out really quick. Okay. So, uh, another, a wolf walks into a bar and says, hello. <laughs> I made an account today and I've been very excited, thank you, Inkblot team, for providing a light in these dark times. I like the layout of the website so far, but I have to wonder why the options to filter out gore and NSFW content aren't active by default. I found the toggles fairly quickly, but it was off-putting for sure. Um, So great, great question, um, wolf person. Uh, That was actually something that was brought to light in kind of like, so I'll be honest, and this is not an excuse, I don't be thinking of everything and neither does the other guy. <laughs> there are some things that I think that, that people say, and I am like, wow, that is so brain, big brain. Why didn't I think of that? Um, these things it's from a user perspective, right? Like you bringing this up to me is, is, is like someone that brought it up in the Twitter space I was in, um, yesterday. And I literally, yeah, 
uh, I've already I had a dev meeting this morning and we literally talked about making it default and also putting the filters after you sign up. Like instead of going to the homepage, you go to your settings or it pulls up a pop-up window that allows you to turn on any filters or customization that we think that you would want to click on first. So yes, we are actively working on that. I am so sorry um, that, you know, that wasn't something that I thought about before. Um, and that's not an excuse. That's literally, I'm so sorry because I should have been thinking from a user perspective, right? That, you know, that you would want to cut these things on um, or whatever X, Y, Z on before. Um, so yes. That's that's my that's my fault. I'm I'm sorry, but we are working on that. I had a dev meeting this morning and we talked about it and we're in the works. Um, but thank you, Wolf that walked in the bar. Um, did, did any any staff uh, have any questions or, or considerations about that? No, I think that's fine. I think we can hear the next animal that has a question. Uh, so it turns out this is the wolf's brother. Um, so the wolf's brother walks in the bar as well, and they say, what do you guys think of a feature where users could suggest tags to be added to other art, to others art? This could oh, help. like pixels? Oh, like pixels? I'm going to get back to you on that because I have no idea. I have no, no recollection of that feature on another site. I haven't, I have, I'm not very well versed on that site. Um, okay. Yeah. This could help people get discovered easier if they're new to tagging. Tags would on, would only be added on approval of the original poster, and or you could choose to include suggested tags via a search filter. Just my idea. So is that something that exists? Yeah, it's something that exists. So like, there's issues with this stuff like on Pixiv, which is like the the humongous arts posting site um in Japan, right. and um. Something that happens a lot is like foreigners, like Ameri Americans will like post fan art and like not know exactly how to write the tag that it would go into. So other users can correct like typos in their, ta in their, um, in their tags or like suggest like more relevant tags because like maybe culturally we don't understand like that they would like this to be tagged like BL or something in addition to like the ship name and like the separate character names and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. That that makes sense. Yeah. I mean, that, that would definitely I, be something. I like that I, I, idea. Yeah. It, you know, I also, I, from a, from a, a, from a person that's an original character uh, artist, I don't want people suggesting me to tag something because they think it looks like a, like a fandom character. Or something like that. Yeah, I would. <laughs> um, I believe they have an option to be like, "Do you want people to be able to suggest changes uh, to your tag?" Okay. I like that. Okay. okay. Yeah, and you that can say cool. like yes or no, and like if you say yes, then people can suggest it. If you say no, then people can't. I can see that. Like, I, I was like thinking, like, um, yeah. I mean, like, I, I'm like thinking about that. I've never heard of that. Uh, like feature i'm not too super familiar with that site um other than mm -hmm. i know how popular it is um mm -hmm. and it seems like like i like that because it also like again it adds it, it's a really interesting thing to bring up or it's just like somebody who's like not their native language is not um english um or anything like that um it is really helpful to kind of help them like kind of like other users can be like hey this would be really good under this tag or um like oh like you would make like this community this fits in there um uh -huh. i feel like it kind of like again for us and um for like my own values as well like i love like more interaction more community um in a positive way so i can see that um definitely being used in a positive way on the other side of it um, like i'm being mindful of people attacking others using that oh, um, cool. oh yeah so even though like yeah i don't like uh, no one likes to think negatively about those things but it is something like i yeah. i definitely like it it's interesting and i would love to like talk about it like mm -hmm. more internally mm -hmm. but i feel like that's a really good suggestion mm -hmm. um i feel like i'd like that to see that on the feedback board too so others yes. could like vote on it and everything because that, that's what I, I never thought about that that's really interesting i didn't know it existed so i mean i would love to see that on the feedback board too um i'm i'm gonna make a little note here to add it um 
any honestly I do I typically do not add these things um, because I, I leave that up to the users because I, if I start writing things down and people just expect like oh Jay will write it down for me and no 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 <laughs> I, I need you to do it too I need you to do it for yourself um, but this one in particular has caught my attention um, and it's something that we definitely need to talk in a in a in a in a team setting um, about all aspects especially the moderation part because again that opens up another channel for harassment so um, unfortunately we had to we had to talk about that. Um, but yeah, um, adding tags, that's a good one. Um, okay, so um, there is one here, um, and it, everyone knows because this is a public, um, this is a public anonymous sport box, um, so they know that what's what's next. Um, I don't think this topic is is good for 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 Twitch for a live stream. I I don't think this topic is good for. Um, for something that is that should be that could possibly trigger people, um, mm. I think that you know this person. Uh, it's called a, a rooch. I don't know what type of animal that is, but um, a rooch. I'm, you're gonna have to send that to support, and we'll talk about that privately because that's that's a very sensitive topic, and I'm not gonna sit up here and trigger everyone in the room. So, um, yeah, um, go ahead and email support. We'll have a conversation. Um, so, uh, this is a koala that's hanging from a tree. Mm -hmm. Hello, Inkbot team. Do you have any tips on how your algorithm works on your site or artists, uh, should just post and write tags so people will see their art? Um, so, we don't have an algorithm. I mean, <laughs> so we don't, we don't, right? Um, and, and for the feed is going to be, it'll be any post that, you know, people that you follow their post. Um, it'll be also the uh the posts that they they reblog re um but then if you're using the alternative dashboard which is very similar to the deviantart dashboard um then it's going to be only posts that are from people you follow literally strictly only them um then we also have the subscription feed as well um so you can subscribe to certain people just kind of like youtube it's basically it's no fee it's no nothing like that it's just you subscribing to their page and it, it just lets you it lets you have a separate feed for just those your favorites basically like let's say you follow too many people and but you want your favorites on the side you can have those subscription feed be just for those people um yeah so that's how that works um and then basically um now the trending i think this particular question is probably asking about the trending the trending is page is basically um it's interaction with that post within the within the, the within a few minutes, like how many, how many people were interacting with that post within a few minutes of it being posted. But then also like it, we've had posts that were posted literally at the beginning of this website, like a, like the beginning when it was built, like, and I see it on the trending page. So we've been around for this, this current version, this, this closed beta V2 version has been around for a full year. And I see posts from the beginning. <laughs> So a year ago. So um, I can't really say that it's going to be, oh, yeah, only because your post was liked within the first few minutes. That doesn't really make sense. So I, I'm not even we've made it so that if it gets interaction and it gets enough interaction, you know, that, you know, let's say two, three likes or two, three reblogs that day, then it's up. It's up on the training page. It doesn't matter how long ago it was. It, it doesn't it doesn't matter if it was one like or one reblog as long as they got some interaction it's going up and it gets a few minutes it gets its spotlight and then it we it switches up it, you know um everyone gets a few minutes of spotlight um and it'll be back up there if it gets more interactions you know because if that person reblogs then whoever's following that person they'll be they'll see that reblog post and be like oh i like that too so it could go right back up you know um it, it's it's definitely a work in progress it's definitely a page or a section that I was very hesitant to add because I know that you know that we all have a negative connotation when it comes to algorithm. When there is good algorithms, guys, there's there is good ones, um, you know, and and we just happen to see the ones that are beating us into the ground, um, that are prioritizing content um, that's not art, and you know I'm talking about Instagram. Um, and you know, that's, that's, that's also showing us things. And I don't know if anyone knew this, but there, it, there was a point in Instagram that if your photo was too dark, it wouldn't show up. 
it wouldn't it wouldn't suggest it to it wouldn't suggest it to your followers. You had to it had to be light, uh, a light post. It had to be um, a certain size. There was a time where um, if your post didn't get a certain amount of uh, likes within a first hour, so you had to reach a hundred likes within the first hour, and then it would do well. There, that's how that is like there has been several stages of the Instagram algorithm and I have actually wrote an entire Google Doc on how to beat each one of them until the latest one I have no idea how to beat the latest one um, I'm working on it again but otherwise I'm just saying that we're not switching up the algorithm four or five times a, a year here um, we're going to find the best one um, when it comes to the trending but I really really like the one that we have right now because I like seeing old art. I like seeing art that you thought was in the grave come back to life. That's what I want to see. I want to yeah. see it. Because um, I mentioned in the space that I was in uh, yesterday, and I was like, if you're an old DA head, do you remember the, the, the most featured post on DA? And it was, every time you went to the featured page, it was always there. It was like this white wolf with like red paint on his forehead or something like <laughs> you know what i'm talking about you know what i'm talking yeah, about they got the most, that one. It's, it got it's been there forever ever. is it still there it's still there i thought it's still there. That is so all like, time genuinely did not know that like it was other like what like that's actually like waking me out that's crazy that oh you you thought it was just you <laughs> yeah, I'm just like, okay, sure. no <laughs> no. That's really funny. I love that. Yeah, but I, I just use that example as the the out like you know the quote unquote algorithm that I don't want. I don't want to go based off of what was the most most liked ever because I just think of that white wolf and I mean hey man that, 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 you know that post was great. The art is great. I'm not I'm not saying it was it was bad. I don't want to see the same post every time I go to the feature page. That's it. I want it to be an option later. It's not necessary. I think that's an option for later because I think it's fun to see which one is going to like, which one is going to be the last one standing. That's like really <laughs> hilarious to think about. <laughs> that's an interesting way to put it. But no, yeah, I got it. Yeah, no, I mean, and you know, I was talking about this in the Discord. And for those of you that love talking and, and want to talk a little bit more um, about, you know, development or things and stuff like that, or just engage with the community, um, you can join our Discord um, and, 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 and go ahead. Um, and we, we all... We all talk about, you know, various things, but sometimes I'll go in there and be like, okay, I don't understand this thing from the feedback board. And then I'll talk with the users in there and I'm like, wow, okay, this makes 10 times more sense now that I talk to somebody in an active chat. So please join the Discord. Um, it's actually, if you, if you look at the little icon, I know it's a little weird icon that's right next to your profile picture on the navigation bar on Inkblot. Um, you'll see this little, that little weird icon. It has a list of the feedback board and everything that you need. Um, to, con to, to reach the other um, places for, for beta testing and everything like that. So um, the Discord is in that link, and that's, that never expires. So you can go right into the Discord from that link. Um, it's always there. Um, so yeah. So anyway, yeah, so I like to pop ideas into the Discord, and I know we talked about, um, oh my god, I lost what I was, what was I on? What was I talking about? Oh my god. Telling people to go to our Discord? Yeah, but what was I bringing up? Oh my god. Yikes! Whoops! I'm so sorry. The I lost wolf my. That's been on the the algorithm. Yeah, yeah. Algorithm. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. So the trending page, filtering it out because you made a good point. Like, I want to see, I want to see what's the most liked, right? Okay, cool. So we were, I was thinking, like, okay, so we have our basic trending, right? And but we can allow the user to be able to filter. Like, I want to see just trending for this category, or I want to just see trending for this hashtag. And yeah, I figured that that was that was pretty simple. As long as it's not like standard for everyone, like it's if it's what you want to see, and we allow it so that okay, filter this list so that it shows me all of the Genshin Impact, what's trending in Genshin Impact, stuff like that. So um, yeah, so yeah. I, I, anyway, uh, I, I think that that was a great point that you made up, um, that you brought up, I guess. Um, so yeah, just want to keep moving along here. Um, that. That that's kind of a little bit about you know, um, uh, you know algorithms on 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 Inkblot, if so to say. Um, so let's see. Uh, sorry, too many tabs are open here. 
Okay, so that was that one. That's resolved. Okay, what are you looking for in moderators? Um, we mentioned before already. You know, we we, we want to we have somebody that 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 aligns with with the content guidelines. That's literally that's literally what we're doing. Um, someone that's mature. When when I take an, an interview with the moderators, I'm looking for someone that you know. That, that is involved in the community, that is up to date, that knows what's going on, that that is in the community. I'm I'm not gonna just you know take on someone that's just you know that has absolutely no idea. Like you know, it, for for one, the staff and the mod team, we're all involved in the community. The only person that I can say that doesn't really have a lick of idea of what's going on would be our senior developer, and that's that's because. He just lives, breathes, and eats code. <laughs> like that's all he does. So, like you know, and it, we love him for it. We love him for it. We do, and <laughs> and and that I think that's fine because I think that it's okay for 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 him to be out of the loop because he's he's not really doing the customer service side of things, so to say. So, um, so yeah. So I need the moderators to be up to date. I need them to be in the community. I need them to be mature. I need them to align with the content guidelines. And yeah, that, I mean, those are the biggest ones. Um, uh, otherwise, yeah, um, yeah. That I mean, that that's pretty upfront. Yeah. Um, any 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 thoughts on that? On what we're looking for in the mod uh, mod team, or are we okay? Um. Yeah, I think that's fine. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't have too much to add. Like I know I talked about it earlier about like, yeah, there's a vibe check, you know, like um, yeah. to put it simply. Um, but yeah, like I mean, it's it's really, you know, they're a part of the community, or at the very least, they understand the community because right. like it's not just you know, it's not like of course being an artist means you make art. It doesn't matter what medium at all. It doesn't matter your skill. Um, but there's also like an understanding of the trends of the community, what's happened over the past few years. I feel like just understanding that um, and also just being open-minded. I mean, that's kind of day one stuff um, to right. work with other people. Right. Um, right. And just not being like, like us here, I feel like everyone, um, everyone on our team is really sweet. Like you poke anyone, ask a question. Like we're, if it's like, I'm not sure if like, this is on the line. I don't. I don't know what to do. That's totally okay. We can have a discussion about it. And like the, the one of the, especially with moderation, and it's not like, for example, on Twitter, you make a post, and it's really easy, or at least I don't know how they're doing it at Twitter now. Um, <laughs> if there's something inappropriate, if there's something inappropriate, it's immediately flagged and taken down. You know. Yeah. Um, it's pretty easy with text, um, and with with art because there's such a range like it's basically you know you're putting your thoughts on the paper on the internet in a, on a medium whatever um and it's really important that we're on the same page so there's consistency um that's really important is consistency mm -hmm. um we're all on the same page everyone if like we're not here like oh i can't wait to slam a ban hammer on somebody it's really we're not like oh, that right. you know right yeah. um <laughs> It's the just, ban hammer, my yeah, God! What year? Yeah. Two thousand eight. I do a little bit of a throwback, you know. <laughs> you guys got me in here, and I have to talk. I I gotta put let my brain out. Um, <laughs> so yeah, like it, like we're not like up and ready to remove somebody that doesn't perfectly align on like our perfect universe. It's really not like that, you know. It's um, but like we like yeah, we just want it to be consistent. Um. We want people to feel safe. This isn't a place where you can be like, yeah, I am okay with posting like abusive images of like like illegal or inappropriate things. Um, that's not okay, you know? And so, yeah, in the moderation, it's understanding our policies, procedures, the content guidelines, so mm -hmm. that people feel like when they're posting their art, they feel safe to do that. Um, and they don't feel afraid that like, oh, someone's going to, hurt me or someone's gonna harass me or I'm afraid if I go on like the latest I'm gonna see something inappropriate or triggering or illegal um so <laughs> it's yeah it's basically like if, if you're wanting to be a moderator please absolutely feel free to apply um I feel like we have a really sweet team um but it's yeah just being mindful of trends in the community our policies and all that uh, 
yeah i mean that's basically it yeah, yeah no that that covers it yeah you, that, that that that's everything with that yeah um, I found a couple of questions that were kind of like uh, something that could be easy and quick to to, um, to answer. Um, someone was uh, an, an ibex. Is that an animal? <laughs> um, an ibex. Uh, yeah, it's a really cute one too. Oh, that sounds. Sorry. Okay. No, no, it's, that's fine. I'm glad. I'm glad to know. An, uh, an ibex uh, runs up to us and says, "Hello. I was wondering if you could, if you would ever consider allowing users to pay for ad space on your site." ads to advertise one's art and commissions. This way the site can get some extra income and the ads can be manually reviewed before they go live. Just a thought, wanted to put out there. Thanks all for your hard work. Um, so Ibex, that that's already exists. Um, I don't really know where to put it, but I probably put it on our help desk or our you know FAQ. Um, you can contact us at billing at inkbot.art. And yeah, I mean, I, I, can, I can link that you can yeah. advertise right now um we have we have a whole system set up and we'll give you the metrics on how many people clicked on your ad and what, you know it allows you to link to the website that you want but obviously you need to read the the ad guidelines but right now it's currently only for safer work until we make the system so that you know it, nsfw is is shown to nsfw accounts and, and people that want to see that adult content and stuff like that so um yeah but we have that already so that is definitely Come another way. Come get your ads. Yes. Come get your ads. We have 10,000 users. Yeah, right. You know, I need to update it. Yeah, because I was doing the metrics for, or I was I was basically saying like, oh, we have this many impressions. This is how, this is how many people visit the website. Well, I need to update that now. So um, <laughs> that's, that's news. Um, we had another one. Do you guys plan on making notifications for normal users to have an icon? Uh, Example, someone commented or replied to you and the bell lights up. I don't know if this is a bug on my end. It's a bug. I'm so sorry. <laughs> we're aware of it, actually. Um, if you want to know of any bugs that we're aware of, go to inkblot.statuspage.io. We used to have a nice fancy smanchy, you know, in, in line with us type of URL. Um, but again, you know, we need to make sure that everything's within the budget and stuff like that. So um, I had to fall back on, you know, the statuspage.io. So it's inkblot dot status page dot io and you can find any 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 bugs that we're currently aware of or fixing um and then also you know just just let the let the team know uh send us an email you know um we'll let you know that we, we're aware of it. it it doesn't hurt to 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 keep letting us know um i'd rather you send an, an extra report about something that we know of rather than you you not contact us about bugs at all please 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 send bug reports i am 100 percent that you know this influx has shown us how many bug reports that we should have had, um, but no one sent in. That's 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 pretty much how that works. Because if if we don't know about it, we typically don't see it. I mean, we spend our time answering support tickets and developing. So, um, you know, I would love to test the site. I would love to be a Q and A tester. But this is a beta. You are a beta tester. I am so sorry, but please just let us know a bug report. Um, I would love that. Um, let's see. Uh, Will you be host? Will this or so a manatee swims up to us and says, "Will this art hosting site be minor friendly or at least a way to block adult content?" So all minors, um, we only have uh, sixteen plus. So we're a sixteen plus website. Um, we so minors would involve sixteen year olds and seventeen year olds. All set sixteen and seventeen year olds accounts are automatically set to block out adult content. Um, that's why it is one hundred percent. If you're an 18 plus account and you're not tagging your stuff, we the support team is going to contact you, or we're, and we're also going to threaten to take your artwork down. You need to you need to filter your artwork. I'm I'm sorry, but we can't we we can't we can't be having you posting just because your account is set as 18 plus does not mean that your posts are automatically default at 18 plus. Now we're actually going to do that. We're implementing it because people people decided that they didn't want to do that and and it's gotten out of hand and not only is it disturbing for people that don't want to see that apple can ban our app yeah because we told them that it's safe for work and it should be but if you're an 18 plus account and you're posting 18 plus content and not putting that nsfw tag on there then yeah it's gonna show up in the safe for work section so that's why we're building out our mod team and, 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 and having three, at least three extra people join it because 
Yeah, uh, and then also putting in the measure where the 18 plus content is automatically tagged as NSFW. And you have to go ahead and turn that off if you do make a safe for work post. But yeah, please, please, um, please tag your work. I, I don't know how else to stress that. Um, if you see, if you see another person or you see a friend and they're not tagging their work, please tell them to tag it. I mean, we'll contact them, but you know, the, the amount of people that are on the website right now, and you know, God, I, I don't want to think about how many people saw that before we got to it. So please, 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 please take, take, um, take responsibility for what you're posting. And the only thing we're asking is to qu switch a toggle on and let us know th uh, three content warnings. That is it. Um, but yes, we do have, it is a minor friendly website. Um, we only, but we only allow 16 to 17 year olds. That's it. So, um, so, so yeah, that we're a 16 plus website. Um, I, we do not have, and I'm not, I'm going to say we, at this point, that is my, that is my, my rule that I have set in place, um, from the beginning. I don't allow, uh, underneath 16. That's it. And that rule is not changing. I'm so sorry for anyone that ha maybe has a friend that's under 16 and uh, they got to wait for 16. I'm sorry. Um, that that's not changing anytime soon. I think that's a good age. Um, sorry, my cat got on the counter. Go. Um, and, and yeah, so, um, but yeah, so yeah, so yeah, that that's, that's where are, we are minor friendly. Um, you know, uh, in minor accounts are automatically blocked, have adult content blocked until they're aged out. So once they turn 18, the site will go ahead and have it so that they can turn turn it on or see that stuff. But as long as they're 16, 17, they don't see that stuff. Um, da -da -da -da. Then only, okay, will you have a, additional tabs down the road to focus on new artists rather than only trending? It can be hard to find new people or to get exposure as a new person or returning after a hiatus, this Wolverine says. Now, this Wolverine, um, we have a latest page. You need to just click on the explore or you just need to hoover over it and it'll show that. Now, if you're using the app, we're making some changes so that um, basically you'll see all of the types of explore pages like categories and comics and all that other stuff. So we have a latest page. That was actually our default explore page before we added the trending. Um, as I mentioned before, we it was I was very hesitant to add the trending page for a long time. So yeah, um, and so that that's... That's new, um, and we're making the adjustments to make sure that people do know about the extra pages. But on mobile, it is a little hard. It is a little difficult, um, and we're making those changes. We just talked about that in our dev meeting this morning. Um, so yeah, uh, let's see. I'm sorry. I'm just kind of. I'm just kind of jumping hey, around. Hey, really quick. Yeah, what's I'm up? I'm so sorry to interrupt. Yeah. I just wanted to double check to make sure that we're not missing out on anyone. Um, did we Ooh. have an extra speaker? I think so. Yeah, yeah. I'm so sorry. I was just trying yeah. to blast through some of these no, easier no, no, questions. You're yeah. Really like I thought I would just input. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, let me answer this one more question and then let's go to our speaker. Yeah, yeah. And then anybody else who still wants to request, please just let me know or request in the chat. Um, I think 11, um, you'll be up next in just a couple of seconds. Just let me answer this one more question. And anybody that wants to request to speak, please go ahead and request it or let me know, let us know um, in, the ch in, the, in the chat or there in the space comments if you want to talk. Um, but this one, this one easy question here was, what's the comic, comic option for when you make a gallery? Is it specifically for if you want to post a webcomic? Um, yeah. So we made it easy. Um, I, I'm, an, I'm an old DA, DA head. Um, I liked uh, reading comments on DA. And I thought that it was kind of crazy that, you know, you had to just keep posting and putting it into the folder. So I figured that if you just make the entire folder a comic, um, then it'll pop up, it'll pop up in a comic section and that's how that works. So basically that folder will become a comic. Um, it'll automatically list all of the pages that you uploaded in, in chronological order, um, from, you know, latest to whatever. Um, we're still, that comic area is still in progress, but yeah, that's, we want to make sure that we, we, we add some attention to that. We've gotten a lot of feedback as that. So, um, basically, yeah, it's just, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it just makes it into the comic so that it shows up on the comic section. Any folder that doesn't have that enabled, it just stays in your gallery. Yeah. Um, so, okay, uh, that going back to our speaker, um, I'm so sorry if it's been a long time, uh, but 11?
You still with us, Eleven? I don't think I can. Don't think we can hear you right now. Yeah, I see them muting and unmuting, so maybe it might be an issue with their mic or something. Oh, okay, got you. Okay, um, feel free to interrupt me. I'm just gonna keep running through some of these. Um, we have Tam. Or, I'm sorry? Um, if, if you happen to, Eleven, if you happen to be in the Twitch chat or anything like that, you're more than welcome to type up your message as well, and I'm keeping an eye on it, you know, so you can just be like, hey, that's me, you know. Yes. Um, yeah, no, definitely let me know um, if they mention that in the, in the, in the Twitch chat. Uh, let's see. Someone asks, uh, Tam here asks, uh, you've mentioned that you're incorporated as an LLC. Does this also mean you have a solidified business plan with a, st a strategic map roadmap? Um, so you can find most of the business plan right there on the Kickstarter. In order to pitch the whole thing, in order for this to like have gotten the Kickstarter money that we did originally um, a year ago, a year and some change ago, it had to have a business plan. Um, does it also mean you have a solidified business plan with a strategic roadmap? Yeah. Um, everything that we've incorporated, the teams, the budget, the finances, what we need, the tools, that's all of the business plan. Um, I mean, I, I can, I can, I can surely bring up, um, a, you know, a more classified document if that's what you're asking there, Tim, but, um, yeah, I, I, I uh, an LLC here, it costs $200 to get it done professionally to make sure that all the documents are put together. There's no way I'm going to start a business and pay $200 and not have a business plan. Absolutely not. <laughs> um, but the Kickstarter also required it in order for people to feel more trust and, and confident in the project. So that's something that you, if you go to our Kickstarter, you can look it up. It's just the Inkblot, Inkblot art, um, and it'll pull up. It'll made by creators, uh, for creators, and that page pulls up, and it has our business plan and, and how we strategically we're going to add and what's going to help with revenue and what's going to what we're going to do with the team and, and the support and, and everything else like that. Um, but more than happy to to share. Um, of the business plan again in a more you know neat neat format because I do know that the that the Kickstarter page was a little rough um, but you know I was I was doing my best <laughs> um, so uh, let's see I think comic feature will be like a web st webtoon style format or page by page format keep up the amazing work says a Norwell. Um, comic feature again, um, it's, it's still a work in progress. Um, and then that's also, uh, that's also, there's a huge amount of feedback about the cop comic section and how it should be, um, for, um, for the comic section basically. Yeah. So I would definitely check out the feedback board. Um, you can let, you can see what people think. I don't know how webtoon does their style. Um, I'm more familiar with the page by page format. Um, but I guess it would be cool if we could offer both. I don't know what's the, that world difference. Do either of you two know which the world difference between the webtoon style and the page by page? Um, I'm very familiar, or familiar enough. I like I like my webtoons. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, basically, with webtoons, it's uh, how it works is that it's like a super long image, mm -hmm. um, basically like what is that vertical wide. Um, like it's a very long image where you scroll down just like with your thumb. Um, so like that's kind of like how you follow the comic is just you go down, 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 down rather than you're swiping left to right like a comic book. Mm, um, so I think, I mean, I, I feel like it would be nice to have um, like like an option to allow that, like the scrolling down. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, you know, it could always just be like a super long image where you scroll down. Um, but I feel like we would have to test that to make sure it works and it's comfortable to use. Maybe on mobile, but on web app, yeah, on, I on don't... Yeah, on mobile, 100%. Um, yeah. it's re like, it's one of the things I like about the webtoon style is that it's really nice where I can just get, like, cozy. Yeah. And it's because it's made for mobile screens, usually webtoons are... Um, yeah. it's really cozy just to kind of scroll through it. I think it's a really nice interface. Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, yeah, that, that definitely, you know, I, again, I, I think that's something for the feedback board and, and for the community to discuss it all as a whole. Um, oh, and, um, yeah, sure. whenever you're done with that thought. Oh, I'm done with that thought. 
<laughs> okay, cool. Perfect. Um, Eleven's actually replied in Twitch chat. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, their phone was being silly on them, and it's all okay. It's okay. So they said, um, would you guys make a visual guide on how to use Inkblot? Um, let me see here. The main reason I'm asking is for people like me who struggle with reading, so maybe a guide with pictures could help. Um, I really like that. Um, I know, Jay, you've been working on um, visual guides on like how to um, like customize your profile, um, things like that. Uh, yeah, we have a new user guide. Um, there's, it's right there in the, um, in, in that little thing I was talking about, the beta, the, the beta testing, um, mm -hmm. drop down that's right next to your profile icon. Um, we, it's called new user guide and I do, I do need to update a little bit, but there is a lot of basics in there. Um, and I need to keep adding it, but you can also find a lot of how to on the help on the help desk, um, which is support.inkblot.art. Now, if you're talking about more like a tool tips. We are thinking about adding that and in, in doing that. That's that's on the development board in, in terms of like having a little tutorial that when you sign up, it shows you how to where to click and where to go, which I'm thinking that's more of a visual tutorial if, is what you're looking for. Um, we're we're, we're going to add that. We're just doing so many UI changes and updates that it, would just, it wouldn't make sense to do tooltips and then keep changing the tooltips. Um, so we're, we're trying to get as much UI improvements before we add the tooltips. Um, did we expect such an influx? No. <laughs> so we were in progress of doing all the UI stuff and everything like that. So, um, but yeah, no, I'm, I'm definitely um, interested in, in doing tool tips and more of like a visual thing. Does that answer your question? Hopefully, I'm so sorry. I do like, I always love um, more ideas for accessibility. Um, I always like, just like anything like that, where I think one thing I really liked with Twitter is when they added, um, what is it, um, alt text. I, I love that so much. Right. Uh, but yeah, Eleven did reply. They said, yeah, all good. Thank you guys for having me. I will need to go though. Wish everyone the best of luck. Thank you for spending you. time with us and yeah. asking your question and everything. Thanks for and your, out pa with us. your patience, especially. Yes, yes. I'm so sorry. Um, and that's a great point because that's actually the next question that we have. Are there plans to add accessibility features? I need to use a large font size to read any text properly, but unfortunately, my my large font size adjusted with Windows 10 settings makes all the text messy and ink blot, so I can't use the site. It's a shame because a certain other site I use did a huge mistake, so I used, I used, just did a huge mistake, so I'm looking for a new place. Thank you for your hard work. Yeah, so I mean, yeah, we are um, doing the, the uh, accessibility things, and we, we do have a lot, uh, like alt text, just like Madeline just mentioned, um, and then also, you know, screen readers and things like that. Um, those are things that we can definitely implement, um, and yeah, I mean, I, I, I guess it, it's just a matter of you know, we're moving things around in terms of that, but I mean, I'll have to, I'll have to check right away. Um, because I do know that accessibility matters and that, you know, it's, it's not even, it's not, it's not really a question on if we are, um, it's, it's just about when we are right. Um, because we would, we, we would, we would suck, you know, we would, we would suck a little ass if we said no accessibility tools. Why would we say that? I'm just saying. I, I'm just we saying. Never... I'm just saying. If I just said, because the, the question is, are there plans to add? And I'm and if I said no, then wow. That would no, be you a... can cancel us right there. Right, exactly. No that. Yeah, like it's, yeah. It's, it's, again, I would leave if Jay said that. that I, it, but but the thing is, okay, I, I turned on captions as soon as we got in here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, yeah. yeah it's, I, you know what I mean? Like I, that's like the first thought in my mind, but it's so, it's so hard to, to, to put that. I want it on the website right now, but it's, it's also like, okay, what do we, what's hurdles that we need to take? You know what I mean? To, to get that on there and what's, what's the next step? Because it does sound easy just saying it, but then, you know, there's web packages and things that, that work with Flutter and JavaScript and, and stuff like that. But you know we use all different types with the JavaScript and in the Dart and the and you know HTML and the CCS. So you know I'm not entirely well versed with that, but you know it's gonna have to be. We would have to take an entire update just to do that, right? Uh -huh. um, so 
I'm, I need to yeah. I need to fit it in and I need to fit it in and it needs to be not it, it needs to you know I need to fit it um, in yeah basically so it sounds like the person who is asking um, is is vision impaired so they need the text to be larger um, I have found surprisingly despite the way that I barely comprehend the way flutter works because <laughs> it pro- it projects it projects HTML elements onto a JavaScript canvas, which is horrific to me. Okay. <laughs> but whatever. It is, like, tabbable and screen readable, which is, like, confusing. I don't know how it did that, but it does that. Yeah. Um, so I think we're fairly okay on a screen reader, but I think when it comes to being able to manipulate the elements on the page and make them bigger at our will that gets a bit dicey because that does all have to go through backend because mm-hmm. we're a web app not really a website right 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 yeah yeah and and, and that's because i mean it, it's easy on on app on app it's easy mm-hmm. i do know that because it, we can have it configured to you know, the, 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 the settings that are on the Android, um, default settings. So that's, mm-hmm. that's easy, but you know, my, my brain is wrapping more around the, the whole web app and like what you just said, um, mm-hmm. you know, there's certain aspects. So, um, all text easy and, and stuff like that, but yeah, no, actually with the, like making this font size bigger and things like that, um, we'll have to, we'll have to get in there. Um, and yeah, but we are, that is there and it's on the roadmap already actually so um yeah um let's see here uh how much development time goes into the web version of the site versus the app versions some clicks don't feel into intuitive and many links are opening new tabs every time i click them i tend to switch between points of interaction due to hand tremors and wishing it would be a little bit more intuitive in web said wolverine um yeah no a lot of time goes into the development um but you know again um, it's me and, and the other dev, um, and sometimes a junior dev that, that likes to visit us sometimes. Um, we are a jack of all trades. We do need a UI UX, so UI user user interface, UI experience, uh, user experience. So we definitely need that. Now I know that particularly the opening tabs, new tabs every single time. Yeah, no, I, I understand that. I do. Um, there was actually a bug that was preventing us from having it just be streamlined to, to just open in right where you were at. So, um, yeah. So, the, you know, there's some like that was definitely like a, the most obvious one, but it was causing a bug. So now we need to revisit it because we've had fixed other bugs and just revisit it. So um, sometimes the things that seem most obvious and that we don't already have is because we, we have a bug that we're facing that's that's that has always that has been what's been kind of like a a a pretty much you know a repeat story um that i have to bring up sometimes because i'm like yeah no there was actually a bug that was preventing this for the longest time um like i know with video it was we had a bug for a long time and it was like it was like the most obvious thing and then we fixed it and it was like it was only because we had to fix this other bug that was causing this bug so um that one in particular with the opening of the tabs is another one um, I'm, we have to revisit it, um, and I can bring that up again, um, just in case we fix the bug. Because there was a big one. It was like had something to do with the the feeds, um, which I think you're talking about as well, um, Wolverine. And um, the, yeah, it was. I think we fixed that, and I will need to revisit it again. Um, let's see. Uh, I want to see if there's a question for the team because. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely, uh, there was a Jackal 19 minutes ago. Would you consider downloadable content like, uh, zip files, line art brushes? Yes. Um, my only thing is that it, we have that assets directory. Um, so we definitely want to bring that in there. Um, and that's on the feedback board already. Um, and we're going to, we're going to implement that. That's planned for sure. Um, they also ask, have you thought about doing events? Of course, when everything is stable. Events in which you can earn badges on your profile would be awesome. Um, yeah, that's why we implemented the art challenges. 
um, we want to do that. I was just thinking about this last night and like before I went to sleep, I'm like, okay, how would we allow like an art challenge to give a badge? Because we want to do one for our winter season. Madeline and Harper, did we? Did I talk to you about the seasonal, the seasonal challenge that I wanted to I do? I believe it. I think it came up. I think you had mentioned it in a, a meeting and everything, but I think we just uh, didn't go in depth on it yet. Okay. Yeah, I, I definitely want to do a winter one, um, and I don't want to make it um, like Christmas themed because a, a mm. user in our Discord brought up a good point, and they were like, "No religious stuff, please." And I was like, "You're right. You're so true." So. Um, yeah, so we'll, we'll have a winter thing and we're going to be testing that out to see how to give out badges. And I want to see if we can have it so that users that make art challenges can also give out badges. I thought that would be pretty cool. Like, it's not just us doing that, you know? Mm -hmm. You know, and I feel yeah, like that I would... Yeah, I think, like, like this... Go ahead. Oh, you can go ahead. Oh, we're both so polite. <laughs> <laughs> but what I, what I was thinking, too, is, like, it would definitely be something we'd have to talk about more, and it would definitely be, I imagine, more far out in the future just because we're kind of making sure, like, we need to make sure the site works, it's stable, mm -hmm. that everyone can do the basic things. And, like, you know, in between, we're adding, like, th like fun things in the middle as we do. But I think something like, something like that events would be a little bit more probably we have to be like a lot more of a discussion and like testing to implement that and also getting feedback from everybody right um but yeah i i do think the idea um of like maybe we can like appoint like i don't even know like it, it would definitely be something that we'd have to go back and forth and talk about um like a point like okay this group of people like they're gonna make like a little event and they can give out a badge or it's just like you know and of course like or we can like commission artists to like create a badge and like we can make a theme off of that badge, you know? Right. Um, I do think like having the community at least do something together, like a little group pro project, you know, I think yeah. that would be fun. Yeah. Um, because definitely like we want everyone, it, like we want it to be very, really involved. Um, or it's just like, it doesn't matter like what medium you do it in. Um, uh, you can do like it just be like oh I made a, a sculpture in real life and I took a picture of it or it's like oh um, it's like you know just 2d art like something I made in Cl a clip studio or like oh this is like a 3d art I made in blender like I feel like um, one thing I like I, I would like is that like it's not restricted on what medium you do it in um, and or like maybe you can do something funky with it like being like oh you can try something you've never tried before right. um, Honestly, I'm just spitballing at this point. You no, know, no, I'm it's a, all good. I feel like this is how it goes. Yeah. Um, but I really, I really like the idea of badges, and then making having people just do kind of funky stuff. Um, maybe get out of their comfort zone, try drawing something new that they haven't done before. Yeah. Um, themes, all that. Um, I think that would be really fun. Or I don't even know. Like, I like it just like an idea. It's like oh, someone does half of the drawing, and the other half is like like oh finish this half of the drawing and i feel like it'd be really fun to see how everyone else finishes it you know yeah. um yeah. just little things like that like i think of like memes um are like i don't know how to describe them other than memes or it's just like oh like add a caption to this or like add like finish the drawing like you know and you'd see like all the different ways that people would finish the drawing I, that was so fun like just I, seeing all the little ways that people would do it i like seeing the the challenges where it's like draw your like blurbo or like your himbo in in this outfit <laughs> and I, I really like seeing those so i, I do i do know what you mean <laughs> yeah um, draw blurbo from your show yeah yeah so um so yeah 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 i think i think yeah no we definitely already have badges i think it's just a matter of just kind of like seeing how they can integrate with the art challenges um mm -hmm. and that should be no problem i think that you know, if, if you if you are if you join this art challenge, then this badge will pop up, and that's that's just a visibility condition and stuff like that, and just tying it in. Yeah. Yeah, we would just have to make a, a badge. You know, so the art challenge host would just have to submit to us the badge, and we would just add it to our, you know, we would just add it to our queue, our or, or our you know our archive or vault or badges basically. Um, but yeah, no, that that's definitely something that we can do, and, and the challenge is having like I want to to introducing the art challenges i want to make the um i want to do the, the inkblot winter challenge and i want to i'm trying to pick a theme which i'm going to run by some some of you in the discord and then also with the team as well 
Um, but yeah, that would be great with the events and stuff. We have those art challenges and events that we want to do. Um, someone really quick says uh, a turtle, um, you know, runs up to us um, and, and says, uh, I have some trouble currently with how images are shown. I have ideas of how this could be changed or improved. Where can I bring that up? My ideas up. Feedback board, feedback.inkblot.art. Yep, that would be the, where that's at. Uh, will the, I'm not going to read the rest of this because this is this has a lot of a lot um, going on in it. Um, will the upload policy possibly change in the future? No. Um, I'm gonna I'm just gonna really be honest. Um, everything that we've said, everything that that I've clarified in the content guidelines, um, it was just clarifications. Like that that information was literally all there except for the hate symbols. Been and that was my bad. That was my bad because I really thought. You know, and I'll be completely blunt with you because I usually am, right? As a black person, it was common sense not to upload co hate hate symbols. Like I, I, I have no idea why that. that I, I just was like, I had hate groups and hateful behavior in there, but hate symbols I just never thought about because I, there's nothing that has ever compelled me to upload a hate symbol in my life, and I, mm -hmm. I, I like, like it just went right over my head. Yeah. So that was literally the one, and I can, I, I have a. Um, I, if you check, I need to add the link to the only thing in that I probably add it as a comment on the article for the content guidelines or post it somewhere else, but I've archived every single version of the content guidelines. Like I, I have archived every single one. Um, and I know that this, um, I know that this comment, uh, this particular Anon, uh, also mentions a website that was changing their upload policy and stuff like that. Um, I've made, like I said, I've made a lot of clarifications in there. That's all that they really are, except for that hate symbol one and adding it because it's just like, okay, um, this is, this is the clarification of what we were talking about when we posted this. Um, because first of all, I'm not a technical writer. Um, and, and, and that's, that's that. And, and second of all, you know, we, we do need to make, you know, more layman terms and stuff like that. So when I say clarifications, they are clarifications <laughs> because it was just like, we, we didn't essentially change anything. Um, we just clarified that, yeah, this is what we meant by that. Um, this is, this is, does not mean this. Um, this is what we were talking about particularly, and that's it. So, I mean, th this is the sixth version in the last two and a half years. Um, and some of those versions are me just like, like one of them is like me adding the fetish art and being like, yeah, that's, that's allowed, but you need to tag it. Um, and then that, you know, uh, there's, there's like some minor things that that's added in, in just clarifying because it was just like, this falls underneath what I was mentioning before, but it, I need to be more specific and, and, and just kind of clear about it. So, um, yeah, no, it, it's. The upload policy, honestly, I'm, I'm really confident in this one. And I'm, I'm really, I'm really, what the last time that we changed it was in, was six months ago. So they, it hardly changes and I only make big changes um, in terms when it comes to clarification, we get enough questions enough for me to be like, okay, I gotta update it because yeah, this has been axed and clearly this is not clear. So yeah, um, otherwise it's, it's pretty solid set, it hasn't, done much changes in terms of like adding or deleting or removing i wouldn't remove no no they're not removing things um and i'm not too particular on adding anything because we've we've, we've pretty much gotten a broad a broad spectrum on there and everything but um that's 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 that um that that's the short and, and sweet version of answering that um someone uh was asking we have a lot of customizations um, with the profiles, I think we discussed that a lot um, already. Um, that will be for pro users. Um, we're only asking for a little bit of money and, and to make your profile pretty. We do need to make sure that we can exist in order for you to customize your profile. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm so sorry, but we do need to put that for the pro. Um, the Right now, the pro accounts, I mean the non-pro or the free users right now, you can change the colors of your profile. Um, that's, I, you know, that's a little bit of customization. I know that's not a lot, but I do know that that's, that, that does, it does make people's profile and it, and it syncs up with the apps, by the way. I don't know if anybody knew that, but it syncs up with the apps. Like the colors that you choose on the web app are actually the colors that show up on the app as well. So, um, 
that's that we can't really too much budge on that unless I find another simple customization that can be for the free users. Cause I do love, um, you know, if it's really simple and it doesn't like, you know, make it ex extremely drastic. Um, I would love for the free users to have a little bit more customization, but, um, that's, that's pretty much about it. Maybe, maybe a, another layout choice. That would be cool. Um, but yeah, no, it definitely, if you have any ideas on that, de definitely send it to the feedback board. Um, do we have any other speakers? Um, because I, I am kind of speed running this just to, because we are approaching or we maybe we're already past two hours. Yeah, we are past two hours. <laughs> so um, yeah, just trying to be mindful of time. So I'm gonna I'm gonna say that we, we have maybe nine minutes left here um, before we start wrapping things up. Um, so uh, does any anybody else wanna speak? Please go ahead and send a request in. Um, Type it in the chat, type it in the comment. I know that Madeline and Harper here are, um, you know, kind of taking a look at those. Um, I'm kind of just speed running a, a few of these questions because I did not expect us to get so many. Um, we usually don't have that many. I usually end these at like an hour and a half on tops. So. <laughs> um, That's nice though. I, I love, like, I, we all love hearing from everyone, you know? Oh yeah, no, I like it. I like it for sure. Um, I'm glad that there's this many because sometimes it's just me talking and bringing up topics. <laughs> um, so yeah, so uh, that was more about the theme customization is a well-deserved addition. Will there be an option to sell themes other users could ma make for ma members to use themes? Theme customization. I think I think they mean in regards to like profile customization. Um, I'm just assuming because that's kind of like a what we were talking about um like being able to like design profiles and sell those profiles okay yeah like a template type thing i mean yeah no i i, yeah. I can see that i think that's that's definitely later on i think that that you know because we didn't we need to just get to the point that we can customize them i love yeah, talking yeah. about the customization but we need to get there too you know um and we need to figure out what that's going to look and i do like the idea of the widgets and having pre-made widgets that you guys can all choose from and we we did have that on the on the board as well already, um, and that would be nice. Um, so we, we I'm making a prototype of that, um, and we'll be sharing that with um, some of the Patreon, and then go ahead and release it out into the public as well. Um, but yeah, yeah, I, I themes. I'm we're gonna have to we're gonna have to see. Let's let's uh, let's get to widgets first, and then we'll go from there. Yeah. Um, yeah, I can. I might be able to see, like, I feel like a, for CSS, um, mm -hmm. like, just, like, custom stuff made for Inkblot, I'm like, if you write the code, that's your code, you right. know, you, I feel like it would have to be discussion, like, how, like, like, if there's, like, I, I'm not familiar, like, if there's copyright or anything around that, I'm not familiar with code, coding, and, like, how, like, kind of, like, the rights behind that, um, I know for sure you can't, like, copyright, like, um, or you can't claim like, oh, these three colors I use on my profile, you can't use it on yours, you have to pay me five bucks. Obviously, that's kind of whack, that's not gonna happen. Um, right. right. But, um, I, like, I, if you write your own code, um, definitely that's yours. Um, I, I think we would just have to have a discussion on like, if it is that like an issue at all, is there like any implications, any things that can go wrong with that? But I mean, it's right. your code, you have a right to it. You right. Know? Right, and, and my thing is that with that's where that's what we ran into when we had um, people being able to code on their profile back in uh, back in the early V two beta because um, closed beta because that's what was causing the issues with the security. So that's why we removed it in the first place. So that's why I'm like we that's why we're going with the more pre made widgets and maybe users can request. The users, the, the widgets that we add or have available to choose from, um, but yeah, right, having people submit for code and stuff like that—that that was the issue. And you know, the, the work that goes into that essentially is us having to test, um, you know, keep testing that playground and keep testing that area for any vulnerabilities and having a repo specifically for that and spending a lot of time doing that. We need a bigger team for that. As much as I would love to do that, we just would need a bigger team to be able to keep testing constantly for vulnerabilities with every single update that we do. Um, so that, yeah, that's why, that's the only reason why I say, let's start with the widgets. <laughs> um, but if not, it's not yeah, totally we'll off there. the board. Yeah, it's, yeah, we'll get there. Um, 
speed running some more of these uh one of these two will you guys uh narwell says will you guys open up gofundme slash crowdsource to keep up with the expense or option just to donate to you um trying to keep it to the option to just to donate um i as much as i love the kickstarter it stressed the me the hell out oh my god there was not a day in those 30 days that i was i was like that i could sleep maybe more than eight hours i was up i was down i was i was everywhere um i think having the team maybe i would be less stressed because at that time i was still doing the coding i was still doing <laughs> i was doing the kickstarter i was doing the support tickets i was doing the moderation so maybe this time around if we were to do another like kickstarter but i don't think i would do it on kickstarter because um they like nfts and they like web3 and they like crypto so i wouldn't do it on kickstarter but um i do know that backer kit is there but i do need to outweigh the fact that there is people more on kickstarter than there is on backer kit but um yeah if we did another one um yeah i would let everyone know but it really just depends on where we're at because it, it's it's always a risk right it's always just a you win or you lose it you know and um it, you know either you get it all or you don't so it's not like we would ever have like you know we would we, we would be waiting on a chunk of change that we could probably not get if that makes uh -huh. sense you know and rather than have somebody just donate to us and we know that we have you know that so like th th that amount to pay that next bill you know we have it instead of being like okay gotta wait 30 days to see if we're gonna be able to pay that bill <laughs> um yeah so yeah so that's the only reason why i'm so hesitant um other than the fact that it stressed me the hell out but um that was a great chance oh my god this, this died no i'm just dying <laughs> oh man you guys probably see me on on twitch so my phone died and long story short the team already knows that my phone dies cons consistently <laughs> so i'm gonna wait I, I, i'm gonna i'm gonna see if i can um if i can keep going <laughs> uh staff madeline harper you already know my phone died <laughs> It dies like during our support meetings. It dies. It dies. <laughs> my my phone is never charged. That's that's like one of the one of my longest running inside jokes that I don't actually want to be a joke, because yeah, I should keep my phone charged. <laughs> my phone, my phone charged. Um, <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I don't even know how to get back into that um, space. Cause it was it was hosted by me so i don't even know if it's still going oh my god i'm just like watching there was a team <laughs> they're in here hold on it's a recorded space got it hold on can i get back in here Hello? Hold on. You know, we're, we're no, it doesn't let you. You can only listen. So I have to wait for my phone. But I'm glad the space is still up. That's good. Um, anyway, uh, that kind of just kind of detaches us from the Twitter, uh, the Twitter space. Uh, but what did we have here? That Kickstarter. Okay, so someone asked here, what is the most useful thing that we've learned oh, that from this Kickstarter journey so far? Um, most useful thing that I've learned is that um, I think I mentioned it earlier was that uh, community matters, but also there's someone that that believes in the same thing as you always, 100%. Um, there, there's going to be somebody that believes in what you're doing. There's going to be somebody that that truly thinks just like you. Um, you're not alone, and you're you're most def definitely going to find somebody that's that's going to be 100% for what you're doing. And in, in, in yeah, there's people that there's people that that are for you. That that's that's the biggest thing that I've learned from this. Um, What's he doing? Is he, is he coming back? Yeah, I'm. Uh, I, I'm glad that I have a uh, winding down. 
So yeah, so yeah, that's the biggest thing that I've learned from this is that there's always going to be somebody that's going to be there doing doing something, you know, that's going to be uh, rooting for you um, in what you're doing. Um, so sorry, um, Harper and Madeline. I know I suck. <laughs> um, so sorry about that. <laughs> Um, but yeah, uh, I think that that, that Twitter space is, um, is over. Um, but, uh, we only had a few minutes left anyway. Um, so I'm going to see, I don't think there was any other in like, you know, um, crazy questions in here that were, I wish I could get to them all here. Um, in, in relation to expanding the site worldwide, I'm curious if you need any volunteers in the capacity in the future from like Europe, Asia and Africa, etc. That is a great question. Um, I want to go international with the volunteers in the team. Um, it's just a matter of like, what's the legalities with that? What's 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 all involved with that? Um, and yeah, that's that's the only thing that's holding me back. I just need to maybe find a mentor or consultant and figure out what's going on with that. Um, but I would love to have volunteers and people from all around the world because we we do have people from all around the world. It's really it's it's very great. Um, it's interesting. We get people that you know um, kind of talking to us, in, you know, in their native language, which is awesome, because I wish that I knew more than one language. Um, and they're talking to us in German, they're talking to us in Spanish, they're talking to us in Korean. Um, so we see a lot of people that are from around the world, and it would be great to be able to support um, people and uh, to have support people from around the world and, and not just here in North America. Um, so yeah, so that is another, that was a great question. Um, Let's see, Brent, reply. Uh, will you be looking for moderators that are more veterans of the site? Have like, does experience trump seniority? Um, no, I'm, I'm still, we're still taking, um, we're still taking people um, that were, that are fairly new or, you know, that haven't been around very long. Um, it, it do, I do kind of take it into account, but I, I don't, I won't totally not interview somebody because of that. No. Yeah. You still have a fighting chance, just like everyone else. Yeah. Um, what future plans do you have for features you might add to the site, if any? Again, the feedback board, please. Um, and then, yeah. Uh, I think that that's, that's all that we got. I don't want to hold anybody up too long. Um, we've already been doing this for almost three hours, three, or two and a half. Um, I'm so sorry that we got disconnected from the Twitter space. I should have been checking my phone. Um, but thank you to everyone that popped in, um, that asked questions. Um, I'm so sorry if... Um, uh, yeah, no, I'll get that. Yeah, I'll get that announcement. Yeah, I'm the worst at spelling. I'm so sorry. Um, Kickstarter to get this man a new phone. It's new. I just don't charge it. You know, I, I, I went to sleep at like 1 a.m. because I was doing tickets all night. I didn't, I didn't even charge it. I'm so sorry. Kickstarter to get this man a new phone, though. I'm not even mad that you said that. <laughs> um, Kickstarter to get you a 10-foot cord. Would you be mad if I said I had that, too? <laughs> um, can I link the Discord? Yes, I will do that. Any other questions um, in here before I go? At least now, it was not now, and then when you used it as an alarm. Yeah. Uh, ripperoni phone, yeah. Maybe, maybe just a giant battery. Hmm? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, let me get, let me get the Discord link really quick. Um, and then I'm gonna pop that in there. And thank you so much for you, uh, for everyone that popped in, stayed, hang out with us. I'm so sorry that we got disconnected from the Twitter space. Um, I know the team is probably going to be mad at me. <laughs> you know, I don't know. I don't even know what would be considered a large battery, but I'm going to say I might have a giant battery. <laughs> I'm going to say that. <laughs> um, but hey, folks, thank you so much for um, coming to our q and I know it was a little last minute. Um, I just wanted to um, to make sure, you know, you kind of meet the team, you, you know what we're doing. For those that are old, for those that are new, um, hello, hi, this is us, this is Inkblot. 
Um, and thank you so much for hanging out with us, asking questions, listening um, for whatever you were doing, whether it was drawing, talking, um, you know, just kind of hanging out, watching TV or whatever. Um, I hope you guys have a great night. Um, and thank you so much for supporting us. Thank you so much for listening. Um, this will be recorded. So if you have a friend that missed it or somebody that was interested in listening, um, please just wait for me. I'll put the YouTube link up. Um, I upload all of the Q and A's and the town halls, or I try to, um, up to our YouTube, um, with transcription, um, so that, you know, you can kind of understand what's going on. So yeah, thank you so much for hanging out and I will see you all out there. Have a good night.